some time now to get things clear now To get rid of my doubts To get rid of my fears I just need some time now to get things done now The things I love The things I want live from the Belong Arena in Nottingham, where we bring you the NSC Overwatch Grand Finals between Staffordshire and Sussex. My name is Mark, and I'm joined by the one and only Omni Toaster. Hello, yeah, we have a excellent game lined up for you today, Staffordshire. Coming off of a very, very strong season, up until this point they are unbeaten in NSC all the way through both splits, so looking to keep that going to get a victory in both winter and spring without losing one game. However, they are coming into it with a slightly new comp. They have lost their main tank, Callum. And they're going to be replacing with Greeny on the support and actually moving Zephyrs onto the tank instead. Sussex coming into it with the team that they've been playing with all year. So that might give them the edge. Yeah, but I mean, Staffordshire here are the defending champions. They won the Overwatch Finals last term. And they, they've come here. They want to see if they can do it again, you know? Yeah. With and some different opposition this time. Yeah, yeah. We're actually playing against you. Last final, if I remember rightly. Yeah, we. You took a map. Able to. Yeah, you we took a map. We almost reverse sweeped, but not quite. <laughs> you took a, you took one. <laughs> almost reverse sweep. Yeah. You know, just. And it was a very good Horizon game that you played. That you did win. Like one team fight off of three. Kind of dominated them on that, but Staffs also did, kind of have their first showing with their new roster yesterday at the Varsity that they're playing against Kiel. Went very well for them. They did win that 3-0. A bit shaky on the control, actually on Busan, which is going to be our first map, almost dropping that one. So it'll be interesting to see if they can kind of improve on their Busan performance from yesterday and uh, win it a bit more convincingly. Or if Sussex, who are here, so arguably better than Kiel, will be taking a bit more advantage of maybe their shaky new composition. Yeah, I mean, Sussex, uh, I'd say a much stronger opposition than Kiel. Yeah. I mean, Kiel... S certainly a good team, but Sussex here, the finalist, uh, they've improved quite a lot, I'd say, from last year. Yeah, term. definitely. When we faced them, uh, they've improved their teamwork. I think they've had some coaching going on behind the scenes, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, hopefully they can put up a good performance. I think this will be a close set, unless we see some nerves from one of the teams. Yeah, it's always possible that kind of a big LAN event such as this it gets to you a little bit as we go and go into Busan. And our first map is going to be Mecha Base, a very goats heavy map. Yeah, Mecha Base. I mean, people run goats. There's a lot of high ground on one side of the map, but uh, a lot of small choke points, especially retaking, is very, very hard against goats, which is why you see uh, goats run so much. Uh, sometimes a May variation as well, blocking SMC off coming any out from doorway. Staffordshire. Um, Sussex, on the other hand, though, going for the dive with a double hit scan between Sombra and Tracer. So I think Staffordshire. Has a better comp running into this. Yeah, and they are very confident on this Mago, so they do try and bring it out really whenever they can, especially on these control maps such as Busan and uh, Lijong Tower, where it's also very popular. So we'll see 
what the Solstice here can do against this very well-practiced May Goats. If they win the first fight, though, uh, Staffordshire should be able to close this out because it's really hard to retake against this May Goats composition. Very much. Shushu dropping very low on that Moira there as a Fire Strike comes through, and they're just going to back up. They see the May Goats, and it looks like they're going to go straight back to spawn change up their composition into something very similar, going towards that free tank, free support, not nope, with the May, just the regular free free composition coming out. I mean but this, this I think puts Staffs in a massive advantage, so they have the position on point, they have the May wall to block off, and as I say that, J7 gets the first pick onto King, and Zephyrs follows up with another one, Staffs. Clear victory on this first point, as expected. Yeah, that was a lovely wall coming out, just isolating the Lucio of King and the Reinhardt. Nothing those two heroes could really do against the full six-man squad of staffs, and just got annihilated there. Looking at Ultima Charge, that Hegelis almost has his first Graviton up, which is whereas uh, Odyssey switching onto Zarya from the Diva is only on 20%. So uh, I expect to see another fight win from Staffordshire here, utilizing Jelts' ult. And uh, Sussex, they're in a really bad spot going into this first match. This is great, but Shushu Barb is actually going to open up with a kill onto Jealous. That's absolutely huge for them here. He was so close to that gravity. He's not going to be building it, not going to get to use it. The charge comes out onto King, though, finishing him off. So that's a lot of AoE healing denied. Jazzy getting the better of Pulse on that side, but the Fire Strike going to come down onto him. So that's both Ren Briggs down. J7 getting a lot of kills into that big shatter coming out from Zephyrus. He's new onto that main tank role, but he's really doing good work on it. Shushu Barb is going to go in for another kill, popping off right now on this Zenyatta. But Eevee going to get the headshot onto Odyssey, so both Zarya's taking out during the course of this fight. Eevee just trying to make something happen as the point starts to get contested up by the Solstice. Eevee just going to go on, get the ice block down. So trying to stall it out until the rest of his kingdom. And here's Jellis, he's got the Transcendence into the Graviton Surge. So nothing going to get caught up by that. And the, but the follow-up comes Holtivo with the Blizzard. Caught in this Blizzard and Staffordshire, they're swinging this fight around. Sussex, they weren't able to break through despite the early pick and amazing hold there from Staffordshire. Uh, J7 especially just on that Lucio being such a nuisance, putting out so much damage from the walls. And this is looking scary if you're a Sussex fan. I don't think they can take any point in this first map. Yeah, and just look at the ultra here. Jealous already back up to 60% and Odyssey's only built up to 75 in the time that Jealous has that used one and then in that fight. They're going to be at such a big advantage again. Slizzard's going to have to find something huge with the Shatter, but they have two support ults ready on the side of E. I mean, I don't think Sussex will have a better fight than the one they just had. Zephyrs here yeah, looking shatter for the Shatter. Shatter doesn't get anything. Return oh, Return Shatter onto two. Slizzard. That was absolutely huge from Zephyrs. Really nicely timed there from him. Shatter not finding anything on the other way. Here's the next grab. King, he's already used his sound barrier, so there's no extra HP for him, and he's just going to drop. The only player in that, but that should be enough to start swinging this fight. One off the map, J7 with a big boop onto Slizzard, and this is just going to be all she wrote for this first map for the Solstice. Just cleaning up here from Staffs. I mean, yeah, Staffordshire putting on a clinic here. Very nice, despite getting Jealous picked off as he got a bit greedy, yeah. trying to finish off the last percentage on his grab. And they hold on, not even a single tick gained by Sussex on this first round, and uh, I gotta pin that down to the compositions. Staffordshire, they yeah, ran definitely. the Magos right at the start. Very snowbally comp, as someone Yeah, and say. they just... Solstice never really has the opportunity to, uh, to recover from having to go back, change their comp, and then come back at that disadvantage once the point was already there. Holding the point if you have this Magos, especially on Mecha Base, is so hard. As we move into downtown, I'm hoping to see Widow and Jealous instantly heading straight onto it. Downtown, otherwise known as the pick the widow, widow map. map yeah. The widow map. Uh, interesting to see if Jealous can get a quick early pick. Sussex recognizing this widow though. They are running Slizzard on the Winston instead of the Reinhardt. Yeah. Good choice here. Try and pressure the widow. You have to assume when you're going up against Jealous on downtown, the widow's going to be brought out at least for a little bit. This is smart from Sussex as well. Going around the side, not giving Jealous any sight lines. Beautiful play from them. Yeah. Jealous, he needs to get in a better position if he wants to do anything in this first attack. Yeah, that was really smart. Just getting straight on the point, getting the contest, and they're forcing Staff to now take the fight to them. Pulso on the Sombra is a pretty scary force to be reckoned with as well. They're really on comfort picks here, is the big thing. Forcing them onto the point, around into that corner. It looks like the first point flip is going to come out, though, so now it's just trying to get that percentage up. They do have a very nice comp for holding the point. As I staffs are going to change, maybe they're just backing up a little bit. King finding Pulse, however, that's absolutely huge for him. Going to stop him building up that uh, EMP quite as quickly as he might have wanted to be as now Slizzard, he's jumping forward, he's going for Uther Is he going to be able to finish him off? Yes, he is. Dropping very low though, but the healing comes out, the armor pack onto him from that brig, and a really nice push, recognizing their advantage there. Staffordshire were looking to play that fight slow, you know, they wanted Jealous to get some damage done, perhaps get an early pick, but unable to do so, and Sussex, I mean, you might have expected them to be a bit shaky going into their first land finals, but 
they proved they showed a lot of composure there, not letting that first round shake them in the slightest. But Eevee there swapping onto this Farah and Pulse on the Sombra. Stabsha the running the triple DPS here. EMP is out. As Zeph is also popping his ult, just trying to cause as much disruption as he can without any jets. That Diva is going straight off the edge, not getting back, and this is going to be a really nicely fought team fight from Staff. Just using only the ults that they needed here to take the advantage. I mean, Staffordshire, they just swapped onto this triple GPS comp, and already you see that EMP from Pulse. Very, very quick. Uh, Sussex, they need to be way more careful in this poke damage. They took a little bit too much, and they paid the price. However, if you're a Sussex fan, they do have five ultimates going into this next fight. Uh, Eevee really needs to make good work of this barrage. He needs to charge it quickly before Sussex can get onto point. Otherwise, this should be a, an expected fight win for Sussex. Yeah, and this is a comp that starts like quite a lot as the barrage is now up, just raining damage in from above, building it. Jezzy's going to take out Zephyrs at the start of this map, so, so it's not Flux looking great. Oh, Flux mech going to go down, but the rest of his team are also falling. Uferella going to uh, Shushu, sorry, going to get the transcendence as the barrage comes out, so it's not going to find anybody. And King, off on the side, just going to take down Eevee stationary in the air. Very nicely played. Sussex just collapsed collapsed onto the members of Staffordshire that were on point. A little bit disorganized there from Staffordshire. They needed to play a bit further back, wait for Eevee to get that barrage and initiate with that, but they played too aggressive and Sussex recognized that collapsed onto them. Zephyrus goes in, but he gets stunned up and taken down. The damage coming out there. The, the attack visor is here. He's going to find out Jezzy as his mech, uh, his shield does finish. But then the primal rage is there just to boof up that HP for the monkey. Stop him dying to the ultimate. Just start booping people around. He's going for the Zenyatta, but he does have the mercy heal on him. Going to have to try and do something about that. Just going to give up on the supports. Go back to the point. Keep contesting it. They are going to get up into the 90%, which is really good for them. Even though this fight looks like it might not go their way as Zephyrus finishes off Slizzard. They are only going to need to win one more fight. You say that though, they, but they used every single ult they had just to hold on to 99% King. Coming up to the sand barrier, that will be the only thing for Sussex or Staffordshire. They've still got both their support ults, they got an EMP, Zephyrs has the primal to stall. I'm expecting to see just a simple fight win with a pulse EMP here, and then the next fight they'll stall out with Zephyrs onto that primal. So Sussex in a very bad spot. Pulse is going to get spotted out, teams. so he's probably just going to have to translocate away, dropping to 60 HP there. Pretty scary as J7 and Zephyrs both going to pop their ults and just start getting as much disruption as they can up on that high ground as they start to come through the choke. Odyssey, he's going to get finished off from that tracer. Winston jump, taking him down. And it's going to be a nice stall and hold as Jezzy also going onto the Sombra is going to have to run away. This is a pretty clean hold from Staffordshire, only using the Valkyrie and the Primal Rage there. And Eevee, he is close to building up that barrage. Pulse still has that EMP, looking to get into good, good opportunity. Sussex, however, they need to make something work. As I said, though, Jealous finds King, and that will send them back to base yet again. We're now in final fight territory. This is dangerous for, for And Sussex. he finds Odyssey Jealous. Just getting kill after kill here. Sussex need to come down, back up, make sure they have their entire team with them, and Jealous just isn't letting that happen. i got to be honest, Omnitoast. I don't expect Sussex to win this map. I'm expecting a 2-0. 1-0 up in oh, the best He's onto them all, four of them taken down King, he can't ult, he is hacked up so there's no sound barrier there to keep the team alive and he's going to die before he can get the ult off. Huge from Jealous there, finishing him off the self-destruct coming in, just trying to make some team and he gets two! Eevee and J7, that anti-air self-destruct enough to finish them off. Uferella going to have to transcend it just to try and keep the rest of his team alive. Jealous, pretty isolated here, the tanks are going for him, he's going to fall. Jezzy, is he going to survive here? He's going to be able to transcend it out and Odyssey comes back in to take down Uferella and they're going to flip the point back their way and the EMP comes the other way so Zephyrus, he's not going to be able to do anything and you may have spoken too soon, Sus they take the round! I mean, I gotta pin that down to Zephyrus and Pulse, they got too greedy, they could have waited for Sussex to get on their point, they know that they need to rush point in order to try and uh, stay in this game, they, it's, oh, it's almost overtime, they need to get that tick in order to stay in the game, but they just go in too early, they don't have the follow-up, and Zephyrus just gets picked off instantly, they can't kill anyone in the EMP and they just throw away the advantage. Really nice from Flux as well to recognize that he could use that bomb in that situation as a kind of anti-air device. It's a very strong tool against the pharmacy if they're on a point like that where maybe they're a bit too far away from any cover. As we go to 1-1, one, one, Haunter Sanctuary. Uh, comps seem to be the same from the end of the last round. Uh, I don't really know who this favors. I, I want to give it to Sussex after they were able to get that winner. As I say, pause is coming out. Must be some technical issues. Yeah, I imagine so. It's the pause is coming out. We're gonna pause will come out eventually. Uh, it's a control shift pause plus for pop. those of you <laughs> wondering, watching at home. There we go. Here we go. Right. We got it. 
And yeah, just some issues with Greeny's uh, setup, it seems, as he does leave the game. So we'll try and get back to the action as quickly as possible. But that last map was a very interesting one. Sussex kind of getting bullied and just finding their edge back in. They did get EMP'd, and it was a really good fight start for Staffs. Getting the EMP, taking down King before he could use the sound barrier. But they managed to turn it around, and it was very impressive. I hope we don't see this every time Stafford should lose a round. Oh, sorry guys, we lagged out uh, technical <laughs> issues. Pull, pull the cord quick. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Sussex, I didn't expect them to come back in that last no, round. I thought it would be a 2 win for Staffordshire, but able to keep their composure, wait for yeah. Staffs to go in a bit too deep, and just capitalize on that. Especially going into that uh, uh, downtown map, they looked very composed, which was surprising. After going 100% to zero on Mecha Base, they came out really clean and they just waited for Staffordshire to overextend, make mistakes, and... Uh, they're all played from them. Yeah, they played really well as well, especially at the start. Recognizing that Jealous was going to be on that Widowmaker, you have to expect that on that map. Going around the other side, just getting straight to point before Jealous had any kind of sightline on them. Controlling that point, getting early control and percentage. They played that map very, very smartly, uh, especially from at, at the start. Bit shaky in the middle after they lost the point. They did let Jealous on that 76 bully them a bit too much. Just kind of overextending, not retreating as hard as they should have. But I think all in all, that was a very good showing from the from the Sussex team. I mean, I think one of the issues for Staffordshire, right, they've been to so many of these events, so many finals, that all the other teams have so many VODs to look <laughs> at from Staffordshire. Yeah. They can just scout all of their strategies, whereas Sussex, relatively unknown, they don't have uh, as much VODs for Staffs to uh, yeah. try and find out what they play. So, uh, in well, terms of information... And just Jealous is a very well-known player, and it was on, obviously, the 12-man team for the Seven Lions uh, Can we World have a Cup? Staffordshire game without someone doing <laughs> <it? So laughs> yeah, it's not did allowed. Did you know that Jealous, yeah, Jealous was in the World Cup team? Was almost in the World yeah. Cup team. Well, yeah, he was in the 12 man team. 12 man team. Really, yeah. did, did he go to. No. Uh, uh, but he almost. Was, he was there in spirit. But yeah, you can't have a Staffs game, especially at Alan, without that being mentioned. That's true. Just because he is a very well known player, so you, you know a lot. Like, everyone really in the university scene at Fort Overwatch knows a lot about him, what he plays, what he's good at, so it is a lot easier for this team to kind of be counted out with those strats. Interesting to see how the chemistry changes from Jealous, you know, you would have been so reliant on Callum on this main tank role, but now having to play with Zephyrus, uh, Greeny coming into the team. Yeah. So the whole dynamics kind of changed for Staffordshire and it's happened fairly recently, so... Uh, I do really want to point out as well how well uh, Zephyrus is doing on that main tank role. Especially, we saw a mecha base, a really nice block into a very good shatter from him. He's really taken to it very quickly, and the team has synergized around him very nicely on it. And I don't think it's that huge an issue for them, really. Like, he's playing very, very well on the role. Greeny, excellent support player, coming in and filling Zephyrus' place there. So I think, really, like their team is looking very strong despite the quick change. I think the issue comes down more to shot calling, communication. I think Cam's quite a loud player. You would have expected him to do a lot of the target calling. So now that he's gone, who is who stepped up and taken that role? Yeah. The J7 and Lucio making the calls? Because sometimes you see Staffordshire uh, going a bit too deep. I'm not sure if it's a calling issue, if they're getting a bit too cocky, you know, underestimating their opponents. So we'll see how it shapes out in the rest of this best of five. If we to eventually get into the game. So I'm just trying to, I can't see round the corner to the staff team, so I have no idea what's going on, but hopefully we'll get it straight back to you as soon as we can. It's, there's not really been that much, it's, it's been a very back and forth game. That first map looked very, very convincing for staffs, but the second one was very back and forth, very hard to kind of define who was on top at any one point. The Sussex made just a, a, a couple of errors that it could have been a much bigger scoreline for them, I feel. I mean, drum has a lot of back and forth fights. Yeah. You know, it's quite chaotic, so many pillars you can hide around, so many different buildings. Uh, Drum is the, the map that famously uh, Washington Justice and another team had that fight where 18 ults were used and nobody died. Yeah, I expect to see a lot of chaotic, messy fights here. It'll probably go down to 50-50 fights and uh, yeah. just the luckiest or... Yeah, this is just a very, very... Best team I mean, control as a mode is very brawly, very fighty, but this map, especially as we get straight back into it now, uh, it, uh, very broadly, especially as uh, yeah, staffs go back into spawn. It looks like they're going to be heading on to League Goats as well. So we are going to have the mirror matchup, except it's going to be Zen Goats into Moira Goats, and there's a Sombra. It's actually not Goats at all. I can't read. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, ooh, as I say, that Jesse Jesse though finds Rufarella Greeny in the back line, and that's put Sussex in a really good position without the Zenyatta. That's a lot of your healing and damage out, and Staffordshire they will just concede. 
and yeah. give this first point over That's to really nicely done by Jezzy, just finding that Zenyatta in the back line, taking them down. It's not something that you can be having happen at all. This Shushu's actually going to drop as well. So they're going to flip the point. Is he going to be able to find Uferal again? No, Jezzy just getting pressed out a bit too much. As Zephyrus finds two, one with the fire strike, one with the charge. And as soon as they flip the point, Staff say no thank you. Just come back with three quick kills. They got to 30%. But Staff's just kind of come back, demolish them, take it back themselves. Sussex pushing their luck a bit, going a bit too deep. The fire strike from Zephyrs manages to shut down the attack from Sussex and turn the fight around. Jezzy, however, 94 on this EMP. If he can get into the members of Staffordshire, no defensive ultimates online. This should be a very decisive win for Sussex. So we see Jezzy looking to find all of the members of Staffordshire, expecting them to be grouped up. Odyssey here on this pulse from the Big EMP, looking that's onto so many. Zephyrs did have his ult, but not going to be able to use it with that thing. And Stick comes out onto the mech. Isn't going to be enough damage to finish it off, though. Evie's mech staying alive. King on the offside, managing to get Jealous with that boop, but going to get dropped by the opposing Lucio in response to that. And it's looking like it's going in Staff's way right now. Shushu just being pressured out. So is going to get the best of Zephyrs and his uh, and his Brig. So he's going to be very pressured here, though. Down to 200 health, but the Coalesce is going to be keeping him alive. Jealous trying to get back as quickly as possible. He does have that Transcendence, which could swing this. But I think it might be a bit too late. A lot of his team are falling, and Evie lost their mech. Pulse going to drop as well. So I think Jealous going to want to back up, not commit the grab into this. He actually goes for it, though. The healing is there Jealous. into it. And just Jealous is there with the mistake. damage. Trying to get some more in with J7, but it's not going to be enough. Zephyrs, he's back on the point. They're just stalling out for as long as they can here, up to 60%, but they're not on the point right now, so I don't think they're going to get much higher. I mean, you might call it stall. I'd call it overcommit. Staffordshire using that Graviton yeah, and the Shatter when they had no reason to do so. There was That point was Sussex's, right? At one point, you've got to recognize your losses and say, you know, we're not coming back from this. Save your ultimates, win the next fight, but... Yeah, coming towards the next one with that Grav would have been... Excellent, but look at Jezzy. He's already back up to his EMP. Uh, Sussex were a little bit slow to follow up on the last EMP from Jezzy. Hopefully they can be a bit cleaner this time. As uh, Jezzy needs getting to fight. Very Uferella. pressured here. Is he going to be able to survive? There's a lot of healing onto him and the EMP comes out. Uferella caught in that, so very low. Very easy to pick off. And Zephyrus with no shield is going to be backed into a corner and killed. Jezzy really finding his mark this time with the rest of his team. All there to follow up. Pulse not going to get rehacked. We're just getting the shield up in time, but he is alone. Isolated. He's going to get the health pack. Pulse but it's probably just going to stagger himself yeah. out even more by picking that up. The hat comes onto him and, yeah, just... I'm not sure picking up that health pack was actually exactly what he wanted to do. Much better timing of the EMP here from Jezzy's whole team were there, able to shut down most of the members of Staffordshire. And this is last fight territory. Staffordshire, they, this is the must-win fight for them. If they don't win, Sussex go 1-0 up in this yeah. best fight. If Odyssey can get a big pulse bomb here, this could just be the map decided by that. J7 coming in, making sure someone is touching in time. It's the bot coming forward. The Graviton from the other way, though, is going to catch everybody in. The J7 is going to go down to the Pulse one. That's exactly what they needed from that, getting the big pick. The Transcendence is going to come, just keep the rest of his team alive. Slizzard dropping very low, but the bubble is onto him, trying to just keep him up as long as possible. Moira just trying to heal him. It's not going to be enough, though. There's so much damage onto him. And now it's really on the back foot for Sussex. The Shatter's going to come down as well, finishing off that fight. I mean, Nicely with, done with the rally and the transcendence from Savature, they had so much healing, just so difficult for Sussex to burn them down, despite quite a nice engage there from the Graviton and from Flux. But Jezzy already back to another EMP. Yeah. Savature, they burn all of their ultimates just to get the point. Jealous, this needs to be a massive grab, otherwise, Staffs will be down. Jezzy is looking, finds his, he sees the entire team waiting for his own team to get into position. He must know that J7 does not have the sound barrier yet. Oh, they spot out Jezzy, so he's going to have to go for it. Uferala was around the corner, so it doesn't pick up that Zenyatta, that all-important target. And it's not really, really going to be capitalized on at all, but J7 is going to drop out the side. Two flux for the king, both of the Zenyatas, both of the Lucio, sorry. They're down now, Jezzy finding Jealous, so that Graviton Surge isn't going to be there. He's not going to be building up to a new one. Jezzy also finding Uferala just going so much for his team right now. Going to get the hack onto Evi as well, so no defense matrix to keep that mech alive as the bomb comes forward, taking down the mech, and this is looking so good for Sussex. They're just cleaning up. Pulse finding one onto Odyssey, though. Finding two onto Slizzard. Is Pulse going to do this for his team? King's back. The Lucio here just getting his team healed up, having that sound barrier. Jezzy was dropping very low without that, so he was instrumental in keeping him alive. Coming forward, I fluxed up. Just the only one really here contesting this point as the sound barrier comes the other way. Je uh, Jealous, he's onto that. Soldier 76 to get back quickly, get the damage out. He's very scary on this hit. Glenn as the Hammond is also here for the stall from Zephyrus. They're going to get off the point, and ye they take the first map. I mean, we called it before. That was very brawly. <laughs> Very 50-50, you weren't quite sure which team was able to win that. Uh, in that last engage, he wasn't, not only did Jesse miss the Zenyatta, he also missed Jealous on the Zarya. So you see an instant bubble come out on Pulse and the Graviton to follow up. 
So unfortunately not the EMP they were looking for. Yeah, just got spotted out, hit with that shot, bring him out of invis, so he had to do it or he was going to die before he got the ult off at all. Just a little bit unfortunate for him there, but very nicely played from Stas as well, stalling out that last fight before Jealous could get back with that 76, Zephyrus with the Hammond, and just get the kind of qu quick mobile heroes back for the stall for the damage just to uh, take it. I mean, it's a very nice entry game, you see. You saw that was back and forth, you know, 2-1 victory. I thought Sussex were able to, were going to be able to clinch it, but yeah. Staffordshire, with their experience in these situations, coming on top and securing the first game. Uh, what's the next one? Is it? Uh, so it's loser picks map. So is it uh, hybrid? Uh, that's a good map? question. We'll, we'll see we'll when they pick production. the map. Yeah. We'll <laughs> see when they pick the map and we load into it. We'll uh, we'll let you know. But yeah, that was that was really close. A lot closer than I think I would have expected, especially on that the second two maps. I think Sussex may have just got. Taking a little bit of time to warm up, make sure they were ready. That first map 100 low, but the other two really could have gone either way. I think Sussex are getting a little bit ahead of themselves at a few points. Whenever they have the EMP, they're desperate to use it instantly. And so you just see an EMP come out, perhaps not at the best timing, not when everyone's able to follow up. And I just heard from reduction, our next map is Dorado. Dorado. Staffordshire, from what I recall have not been the most consistent team on Dorado. No. I, think I remember against York, they got held on first point. Yeah, against York, they didn't, uh, in some other finals, uh, they didn't do amazingly, and uh, against GCU as well, this wasn't their map, but both times, uh, it wasn't their map pick either, as it was here. They never picked Dorado. So Sussex doing Probably for a reason. Really so yeah, Sussex really doing some research here, watching back some games, maybe scrimming especially on Dorado, so if they you know if they do lose one, they're going towards it, they can pick Dorado for that escort map and take it because if they've been practicing on it maybe staffs have been as well knowing that it's a weakness is the one thing I'd ask going into this have staffs recognized that I mean Dorado is a pretty interesting map because you can see a variety of comps and all the different points normally start off with uh, some sort of goats variant at the start and then a lot of teams opt to switch onto dive with the Sombra yeah. you know, Sussex they've shown they can run goats they've shown they can run Sombra so Clearly, this is a map that favours their playstyle. Yeah, and it's a map with a lot of high ground, so having those heroes that can contest that are really important, especially on that first and second point. Maybe Jealous brings out that Farrah, they go for the kind of DPS composition that we're doing again, or even Jealous on to the Soldier 76 and Evie onto the Farrah as well, as Evie was doing a very nice showing on that hero. So they have the flexibility they need to pick different comps to counter whatever the Sussex have been practicing onto this. I think what we saw in a lot of fights from that last round was Pulse was staying alive on the Brigitte for a very long time. Yeah. Like, even when the fights were favoured for Sussex, Pulse was there I mean, alive, you know, just healing his whole team with that, getting the rally yet again, th uh, throwing out those armor packs, you know, just being a nuisance. And that, that last fight, he took down two, with. including the Winston, who was a really instrumental part of the stall, needed that big tanky monkey on the point to try and keep the rest of the team alive and protected, and Pulse was having none of that, took him down. He's being very instrumental in keeping these fights going and being that kind of driving force for the clutches that we've seen coming out. Yeah. Sussex will need to find a way to shut down Pulse on this Brigitte if they do go back to run Goats v Goats. But we're seeing the... Sorry, what is this? Triple tank composition. I haven't seen this in quite a while. This uh, I think the meta was like last spring we saw a lot of triple tank. Yeah, they're bringing out the Arissa and the Roadhog. Roadhog can be a risky pick, especially with a Sombra on the opposing team, as he is just that big bat alt battery for that uh, hero such as that. Especially if he gets hacked up. Eevee, though, I don't think he wants to be on this Farah going up against the uh, Widow Diva and Roadhog. I expect him to change very quickly uh, to perhaps a Tracer, I'd say. Maybe Genji. It's going to be pretty Counter hard as well ground. for Jealous to get too much done. If the opposing Widow Odyssey just stays behind that Arisa shield, it's going to be very protected to just take all of these shots. Oh, a very nice headshot coming out immediately from Jealous. Just sending that D.Va packing, showing him who is boss and what he is planning to do for the rest of this game. Pulse actually manages to get around all those D.Va shots. That was very nice. Pulse, as well, is going to need to be very careful. He's, he needs to deal with Jezzy on the Hulk, who's going to be looking for him, as well as Flux, who's just going to be spinning around, trying to find the sneaky Sombra. Both Widows getting shots out onto each other's body, so not a headshot there. Both of them just going to fall back to their mercies, get healed up, and go again. Nice Jealous going to get taken though. down by Jezzy and that combo, so 
Very nice start for them here as Pulse going to be forced away by the Diva. Zephyrs he went in trying to get something done, but Flux is going to say no thank you to that. Take him down. Ever going to get a kill in response, but I think it's you been too it to many. Be though, yeah. yeah. I mean, both of these teams are running the Mercy Widow composition, so if any Widow actually wins the duel, guess what? They're coming right back up. You need to win two duels in a row if you want to take this first point. Or kill the Mercy first. Or kill the Mercy. It's always an option. Just click head for her. Yeah, just click on the Mercy's head. Jealous. First on the site, hitting a few more shots than Odyssey, but Odyssey will be following up very shortly. Ooh. Looking for the Ana, but just going to find the body shot, so not quite enough to finish him off. And it's like he isn't going to actually achieve too much with the sights, and Odyssey going to follow up almost immediately. Pulse, he has the EMP. The Zephyrs, he's jumping in, the EMP is also there, so Jesse going to be dropping very low. Can't heal himself up while he is hacked. Can't also get that damage mitigation. The sleep's going to come out onto Zephyr, so he tries to get onto the supports. And Jezzy, he's unhacked, and he's got the whole hog, so he's going to kill Envy's mech. Just get that baby diva into the corner. Actually almost drops to Labani Blaster, but it's going to be enough to finish them off as Odyssey finds the pick onto J7. No one getting rest here. Zephyr's going to accept his fate. I mean, you saw a very nice EMP come out from Pulse, but the issue there was the die was not coordinated. The Ana and Mercy were in the corner, clumped up together, but no one on Staffordshire dove onto them. They dove yeah. on someone else. And the sports were able to pocket heal each other, stay alive, and just heal up the rest of their team. Yeah, you saw Jesse getting healed up by King, and then King being healed healed up by Shushubaba. So this team staying very healthy, a lot of healing output with these two heroes. As the next attack starts. That was the, the best fight onto for Jesse. That was really nice. The bomb also coming in. Shushubaba low, gonna get the best of J7. So there's a lot of healing denied as this dive comes forward. Flux didn't find anything with his bomb, but now the Bongo is down and it's just doing so much damage. Taking out Ufarella with the headshots from the Rissa gun does a lot of damage, especially when it's boosted. Flux just getting bullied into the corner, but it's going to be enough in the tactical crouch from Jersey onto Evi is another fight won and it just isn't Staff's map. I mean, Zephyr's maybe showing a bit of inexperience there, trying to 1v1 a Diva in his primal, not the ideal target of choice. You know, he should have known there was a Mega available there as well. And the big thing there as well, Flux used his bomb at the start of that fight, but just shooting constantly at that ulting Winston, he's up to 90% again. Staff's in a really bad spot going in. Eevee, this needs to be at least a two-man bomb if Staffordshire want to win. Dorado, however, one of the best maps for the deep bombs. He goes for it. The bomb's coming in. Is the shield available for the Arisa? No, they're just going to get round the well and it's not going to find anyone. And now the fight has to come in. Flux already had another bomb ready and he's going to find uh, one with it. Every's mech is going to go down. Jesse, he has the whole hog again. He's just doing so much damage with it. They've got nothing in response to that. Pulse isn't able to get the hack onto him to stop it. He's going to find two, and it's going to be completely routed. The only ult that they're going to have coming into this is maybe Ufarellas and Jealous if he can build it up very quickly, but it's going to be hard for either of them to build up. This is just clinical from Sussex, not allowing Staffordshire to move anywhere near the second objective. Just playing exactly where they need to, playing behind corners, behind sightlines, utilizing their team synergy really well. Staffordshire, they have lost the last fight to try and stay in this game. Zephyrs, he loses the shield, trying to hide behind this payload. Flux has no mech though, so this is a good opportunity for them. Oh, like, uh, Big anti that comes uh, out. The Transcendence isn't going to be healing many people. Evie has to get the bubble onto him just to get that purple off him. The headshot's right there again. The Transcendence keeping everyone alive though. Really nice bubbles from Jealous coming out to stop that. And the Transcendence, the, the Graviton Surge is there as well. Just waiting, biding his time, building it up really nicely. I think they're finally going to get the edge to cap this point. I mean, I'm surprised they didn't just go goats at the start, right? <laughs> Widow struggling when you have so much healing. Yeah. And when you see that Arissa as well, just run at her, get past her shield, start swinging at her, she's gonna go down. I mean, basically in that last fight, Odyssey needed to hit a headshot, otherwise Sussex lose. If you're running this comp, that's what you're expecting your Widow to do. Massive anti-nade came out from Sussex as well, but they had no follow-up. They're running Arissa, yeah. Diva, Hog, no one to really go into the back line of staffs. And the bubbles were there, so at least Evie kept the mech up through the, through the anti-nade got removed by Jealous very quickly, was very on it there, as Jealous as Flux. Dropping pretty low is just both Divas fighting for the high ground. One of them is going to have to drop down soon, Evie is going to be the one to go back down to his team. Zephyrus is looking for the Shatter now, just moving forward. Up round the corner, Shatter comes out, it's on to two, that's really nice, just snuck round the shield. The bomb's in as well, it's going to find both of them, King and Jezzy, taken down by that self-destructive, really nice tank ult combo there. Slizzard trying to charge through, pick somebody up, he's very low and he's going to get finished off as Zephyrus chases him down. Very different story to first point. I mean, the entire time the cart was moving as well. Sussex very slow to engage. They needed to fight on the cart. I would have expected them to take the high ground instead of the low ground. 
to initiate. However, they they can't even touch. No. So that I think that's the first time I've ever seen second point taken just in one just fight. one fight. Yeah, that was very impressive there. And they're still pushing forward and they're getting kills. Flux taken down as they go, waiting uh. for that door to open. The, the Graviton Surge is out and the Transcendence is there to counter it for the charge through. On to Jezzy. He's going to find at least one into that. Oh, there's a hundred charge up for Jealous. He's doing so much damage right now and they're still just pushing. Flux might have to use his ult here just to try and get something to happen as they are oh, starting to retreat. Just get back to the cart. They found the pick. They got the pressure and they got a little bit of push going. Not really a fan of that BM grab from Jealous. Uh, he probably could have pushed the cart around to this point on the bridge and then initiated with the Graviton. Could have found a map win there. Oh, Seven big shatter another again, big shatter. The self-destruct is there to try and counter it. Not going to find anyone. The shatter's there on the other side. Jealous, he's going to go down so to it, but the sand barrier is there, so he's going to stay pretty healthy. Slizzard's actually the one who's dropping lower. Zephyr's also there, very low, so the Transcendence is going to have to come out. The Graviton Surge going the other way. Isn't going to find anyone. So many ults being used for absolutely nothing here as Evie. With that booster, actually, as he sends the self-destruct, he's going to find Odyssey. He was so, so low, and now they're all dropping, and they're so close to the edge. Flux is going to have to try and find some kind of stall here. He goes up. Not quite slowing yet, as the mech is going to get dropped. And another the shatter from Zephyr's. Another Graviton. So many ults just destroying in this Goats v Goats matchup. And it looks like they're going to push it through. Just King looking for as much stall as he can. Odyssey, he's back. King managed to stall in enough time to bring that Zarya back. The Zarya is so low so quickly. Not going to be able to do anything, but the other tank is back. They're just going to have to try and cycle their stalls as well as they can. Now, King, he's been alive for so long. As soon as he gets dropped, though, going to push in. I mean, Sussex, they looked so, so clean on the first point. But then as soon as Staffordshire picks Goats, it's a completely different story. Sussex just looked scared, if I'm honest. Yeah. The issue with their second and third point defenses is they didn't want to engage. They let staffs pick any time they wanted to fight. They let them pick when they're going to fight, where they're going to fight, how they're going to fight. And they just lacked any sort of decisiveness there. You would have liked to see them take second point and just initiate onto staffs straight off losing the first point or set up in some sort of position on third point since they weren't contesting, but they kind of just stood around in the middle of it's the point. It's got bullied, basically. Yeah. Like, second point on a lot of these maps is quite hard to defend. Like, you know, this Nimbani, a lot of these escort maps is very hard, and there's no different here. It is probably the hardest one to, to, to get a hold on, stop them pushing it through, but they just got rolled through one fight. As you said, I think it's one of the only times I've ever seen it happen. Is this land nerves? Maybe we've seen some choke from Sussex where they're so close to just closing out the map, and then suddenly... I mean, staffs just take it. Is yeah. this like them choking, or is this Staffordshire showing their experience? I think it's Staffordshire going to goats, which they're very experienced on, they're very good at as well. Really, what well, they're very practiced at as for their defense. They're gonna take something different. Gonna put jealous on to that 76 again and pulse on the Sombra, a defense that we've seen from them quite a lot of times over the last two days with this and the varsity that they were playing, and it's worked out very well for them both times. See, here we see on the defense, Staffordshire running a soldier. I think they must be expecting some sort of Pharaoh come from Sussex. Sniping Jezzy on this Pharaoh. Uh, Jealous, very good hit scan. So uh, I'm expecting Jezzy to switch off the Pharaoh. If Sussex run goats here, they should be favored. Ooh, lovely headshot onto Zephyrus, and then he jumps forward as soon as that headshot comes in. So he's dropping very low, but the dive coordinated there on the Odyssey. So they're going to finish him off before Zephyrus goes down. The healing there for him. Jesse gets hacked up, so there's no hope for him. Farah is very sad when she gets hacked. The Fres might be there if King decides to go Odyssey for it. Odyssey grapples onto the high ground. Staffordshire says, what are you doing, son? That's our high ground. Instant collapse onto him. Odyssey is like, I'm not dealing with this. Sits in his own spawn. That way he can't get dove. Trying to snipe. Also has no like angle, however, though. So it's going to be pretty hard for him to be able to find anything as both of these high grounds are controlled up. Jezzy trying to do something. Swaps over to the Genji. Just climbs up, trying to contest it, but these two tanks up here have the healing. Odyssey, he's going to find the pick that he needed. And Jezzy with one kill and then straight through with a dash onto J7 on that Mercy. This is the opening they were looking for. Jezzy gone onto the Genji and done so much work instantly. Really nicely played from him. He's going to open up this point. Jezzy says, we may not be the best GOATS team, but let me show you my Genji, you know. As far as dive goes, we've got you beat. Yeah. yeah really nicely done from him, chaining those dashes onto a lot of players. It's Jealous gives up on the Soldier, going onto the Widow, trying to do something about this. As the push begins, they're getting very close. They're going to have to start contesting soon. It's going to be hard for staffs to recontest. Jealous can't really and get sightlines without dead. being pressured. Yeah. So he's been forced out of this fight. And Flux, he finds a pick on the Zephyr. He's going to find Eevee's mech as well. 
There the we go, Loose Staffordshire just this forced is just off this point. point. Yeah, the Loose onto Slizzard, he jumps straight through doing so much damage, takes down both the supports, and he's actually gone into Primal, just pushing them back even further. I'm not sure if he was getting too low and just wanting to survive, but with these doors opening, that may have been a little bit of a waste. Pulse getting caught out behind. They're pushing so far forward, and they're finding Zeph is at the next point where the doors are first, they're still open. I mean, they're trying to send a message here. They're saying, you might have steamrolled us on second and third, but we can do the same. We can I do it on first. We're not waiting until 20 seconds left. I would have liked to see staffs just switch to goats after they lost the first fight. If they switched to goats, they could have recontested. They could have maybe held first. But I think they wanted to try and get the Widow Jewel, perhaps in preparation for second point, knowing that goats is a little bit difficult to defend on second against this dive. Jezzy, however, he's swinging around the back line, looking for a sneaky pick. The monkey ult is there from the other team, as is the self-destruct coming over. Oh, Flux, not going to be able to get away with it. Neither is Shushu, so that's really nice. From Evi, getting those two down, Odyssey just getting beaten down by Zephyrus. He's going to drop as well, so a nice fight from Staff, taking the initiative, taking some ults into the team, finishing them off. And I mean, they just used their tank ults, so it's pretty nice from them. Sussex nowhere near to this nano. Jesse, he's going to have to do something with a dry blade or Odyssey. He needs to get the pick. However, Staffordshire in a commanding ult position here. They have the transcendence for this blade. They have the EMP for any fight that Sussex decide to use the beat on. The EMP comes out. It's on to four. That's really nice from Pulse. Probably going to be enough to just finish off this fight straight up. Only needing the one ult here. Shushu and Odyssey just going down very quickly. Ufarella was Sussex Jesse, he's in the background. This is really nice from them. They're just taking kill after kill. They're onto Jealous as well. Now Jesse, he's doing so much on this Genji. Slizz as well in the back line. He's taking out the supports with that monkey. Now they're onto Pulse the EMP. It was onto four, but it wasn't enough. And they can finally, finally start getting this push going on first. It's really the reverse of what we saw from Staffs. They were so bad on first, really good on second. I was and about to say that way. EMP was too early. They Staffs, they didn't need to push anything. They're in defense. They can wait out. They can wait for the beat. Fancy Bomb trying to find someone pushing forward, not able to get anywhere. Jealous is looking for a cheeky pick. Odyssey though, challenges him, knowing he has walls up. What are you doing, son? Flux as well, going way too deep, and uh, Sussex... I think they fell asleep there for a second. Yeah, a little bit not what you want to see. Jezzy, though, he's bringing out the blade. The Slizzard did manage to take out Ufarella, so he knows there's no Transcendence available at all. So he's going to try and find something. Every round. mech dropping very low, but Jezzy, he's down to just 20 HP. He needs some healing if he wants to carry on with this aggression. Going for the Baby Diva, who's just coming at him with a Bunny Blast. He's down to 3 HP and Pulse from the high ground. is going to finish him off, but Odyssey and King are going to get the better of the two players who are still trying to contest. Really nicely played on them, and this is still a push that they can definitely win. But Pulse is just staying on the cart. Again, just the clutch is coming out from Pulse. I mean, Sussex. They, that was a 50-50 right, but 50-50 fight. But they should have just taken the L. Should have tried to get a six man. They were down two at the start. I don't want to see them commit to a four v six fight every time. But as I say that though, King, very clinical, clinical in that last fight. He boops the mercy, denies the res, and then picks them off as well. Finds another pick, gets himself a two k. Almost brings Sussex the point, but not quite. Pulse, back to stall. Yeah, Pulse just getting the stalls time and time again. I appreciate Jezzy's plan. He knew that Zenyatta was dead, no transcendence for his blade. Did manage to pick up a few of it, but just wasn't enough as the boosted monkey is coming in now. This is the chance they needed, but the EMP is there. It's on to three this time. King, no healing coming out from him, and Jealous is going to find Odyssey on the back line. Evie now just jumping onto King without any of his abilities. No chance for him to survive as Flux Mech also goes down, and the, the EMP was enough this time. This, to this take is the a fight. much better EMP here from yeah. Staffordshire. Last time they tried to force the fight. Whereas this time they let Sussex engage where they thought they had the advantage and then just EMP, cancel their hopes, get one or two ults in exchange for that EMP and are able to win off the fight. You don't normally want to EMP straight away unless you're guaranteed to take the point. You want to get the enemy team to commit an ult or two perhaps to make it a better trade. Slizzard has the ult now as does Jezzy. Ufarella not allowed transcendent so it's going to be hard for them to counter this blade. Odyssey gets hacked up. It's really bad if you're on the tracer and Jezzy and Slizzard both freaking out those ults. The sound barrier also there just beefing them up. Giving them that HP that they need to survive through this and they've got three kills already. The mech's going to go down. Looks like they might finally be able to get this second point in the nick of time. Pulse, potato aims there. Onto Odyssey. Gets the hack but unable to find like more than two shots I'd say. Yeah, getting tracer. him down to about half. The tracer that hacked up is so bad, but manages to survive through it, and the rest of his team with the ults just finding what they needed. Staffordshire, they. I think they dropped onto low ground a bit too early there. They could have held high ground for longer, tried to build up one or two ults. But third point, the hardest point I'd say on the router to take. We've seen teams 
Overwatch League teams and just throughout NSC hold teams here for four plus minutes. Yeah. And they are such a difficult point to take if the teams play it well. And they are already ahead on the time bank as well, so they're going to be confident going to that. Zephyr's dropping to about half and have to get the bubbles as the bomb is coming forward, just trying to get anything that they can find. Isn't going to pick anyone up. Flux just getting behind the cart, the rest of them behind the door as he's sending their own bomb. Again, everyone round the corner of the shield. Very nice from Zephyr's to keep a couple of his team alive there as the Transcendence is forced. Dropping very low, just keeping his whole team alive, and they're going to use it to get the aggression going. Pushing forward, Slizzard. He's backing up. No shatter was there, but it's not going to find anyone. So actually gets charged away, so he's not going to be able to do anything. They're just going to have to leave as the charge. The position here from Staffordshire, much better than what we saw from Sussex. The Shadow on the other way, just stopping any retreat. Just going to mop up a few people late. I mean, that's a, that's a BM Shadow. There was, there was no need for that Shadow, but I think Zephyr's sending a message that Staffordshire feel comfortable here. Uh, Eevee, though, with that bomb engage, I'm not a fan of... The only team that successfully pulls off bomb engages, I'd say, is NYXL, <laughs> because they hard commit on it, right? Most other teams, they just chuck the bomb and hope for a pick. What you need to do with a bomb engage is you wait for your team to go in and then chuck the bomb and everyone commits. Well, the crab comes out on this high ground, so it's going to be getting some damage into the Transcendence is there to keep them all alive. The Sound Barrier just beefing his team up. Just going to have to start backing up. There's a lot of damage on Jealous. The charge comes forward. Slizzard is already dead. Odyssey, he gets the boost, so he's going to be doing a lot of damage. That's Odyssey, Zarya close to that Graviton surge as well. Out. Yeah, this boost might be all he needs to build it up. And he's going to find Zephyr, so it's open for him to do it if he wants to. No shield to protect the enemy team into it. Just needs to make sure the Diva can't dematrix it. He has built it up, and he has 80 charge. The Purple Nade is really big onto all of them. Pulse dropping low, but he gets booped into the bomb. Dropping, but Slizzard, he's got back and he starts swinging. Pulse is going to go down there onto Uferali. He's also going to drop Evie. He takes out Slizzard low. Just after you get back, they just have to take out Jealous and they can start pushing it in. Sussex holding on here, but I mean, Odyssey, he has the self bubble. Really How did Sussex. he die to that Diva bomb? I guess not expecting the boot, but you got to bubble yourself there just in case. That was a really nice fight from them low. Stored it out. Just enough time for Slizzard to get back, get a few kills. He did drop again, but it was enough and now they might start Slizzard getting and Zephyr's here with the Shatters. Slizzard, the only way for Sussex to win this really is to get a nice bomb shadow combo because Jealous, he's coming up onto this grab. Odd Ufarella, he has the, tr the trans. J7, he has oh, the The shatter's bomb. not going to find anything. The shield was there. The bomb also not going to get anything. The shatter comes in the other way. Also not going to find much, Stabbing but the grab is there. They're just going to start swinging into it. Jesse King, they're all dying. This is looking like the map is going to go in the way of Staffs. I mean, and it was looking so good for Sussex. Their first hold was very, very strong. Just didn't quite end up going their way. It's just these 50 50 fights that always go Staff's way. I mean, after first point as well, Sussex, they seemed shaken. They didn't quite have a game plan for second or third point, which is strange considering they picked them up. You would have expected them to be a lot more decisive, at least on defense. Yeah, their, their, their first defense, very nicely done, but Staff's swapping over to the GOATs. It's enough just to kind of start putting on the pressure and bullying them a little bit. What they needed to, to take that map. Go 2-0 up to match point in I this mean, final. I mean, it is 2-0, but... They've been really close. I don't think Staffordshire is that good at 2CP. No, they as did lose it. As far as their weaknesses go, I'd say this is the biggest opportunity for Sussex to win. Yeah. I'd say control point, they look shaky as well. They drop quite a few rounds to teams, but they normally clinch it. Clinch the victory just at the end. That's classic Staffordshire. But 2CP is probably their weakest... Uh, so this is a chance for Sussex to mount a comeback, get a reverse sweep. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, the 2-0 scoreline isn't really that reflective of just how close these games have been. I mean, that one's a slightly different second defense might have really just made the difference there for Sussex and put them at a 1-1 scoreline instead. The control, the second two maps on that, incredibly close. So, Apart from the first point, though, on Dorado, Staffordshire basically had command of that entire map. They looked shaky as soon as they switched to Goats on that first point. Sussex just had no yeah. answer. They're so confident on the goat, so aggressive. They just take the initiative. They know exactly when they want to to initiate. Sussex just looked a little bit shaky, just retreating a bit too much maybe from those attacks. Need to take some of the initiative back into them, match the aggression, and just try and counter it out a little bit. Sussex, they look the strongest when they're dictating the terms of engagement. When they when they engage first, they know where they're going to fight. They know what ults they're using. Whereas when staffs engage in them, Sussex, most of the time, they just don't know what to do. They look clueless, yeah. and they kind of split up. So I'd want to see Sussex command the game a bit more, you know? Yeah. And on 2CP, that's definitely something they can do, especially on their attack. If they run a similar thing, though, I want to see on defense, depending on the map, obviously, but that Arisa defense for them did work incredibly well until the staffs switched to GOATS. 
So it depends on the map. If it's a GOATS map that is very popular composition on it, maybe they don't want to try running it because they will probably just get ran at again and it's not the best composition to deal with that. You could pick a Bastion as well with the Baptiste. I mean, go for the so Florida Baptiste, comp. however, they've said yeah, they've, they've had they've a gentleman's Baptiste. agreement that Baptiste is banned. Yeah, disappointingly. I'm not sure how that some. holds up in court. Well, I is think that like they've had a gentleman's agreement and also uh, talking to the teams, none of, neither of them have screamed with him. So even if he wasn't banned, I don't think they'd be playing him because none, none of them have practiced that. But still, even without the Baptisto, picking a Bastion here could be good with the Orisa Hog, yeah. maybe a Diva as well, shun down any hopes of goats. Yeah, and if you're going to go with that kind of comp, you need you don't want to be holding on the point, it's just too easy to exploit, so you need something like that Diva who can get down, get the contest, fly back up, get heroes, get down, contest, fly back up. It is risky when you're probably going to be confident that Pulse might be on the Sombra, however, if the Diva drops down, does get hacked up, that could be your hold completely dismantled. How are we looking... In the goats for goats matchup, is Stavs really favoured to win there, or do you reckon Sussex can try and play it a bit more? I think they can. I think they just need to be a little bit more aggressive with it. Try and match Stavs' initiation style. Try and do that as well. Not let Stavs constantly keep running at them as we go into Hanamura. This is interesting. I think we've seen some diverse comps in Overwatch League recently on Hanamura. I think Torb has been run, Bastion has been run. So in the current state of the meta, this is definitely. A a map that can see a lot of diversity and just some swanky comps to surprise the opposition. Doesn't look like that's what we're going to be seeing though. The map itself is, the second point especially, is just chaotic. Yeah, well 2CP just as a gamer tends to be, especially at the second point, there's so much time to stall. It's just that the spawn, the spawn advantage, you're right next to the point, you can just keep doing one person on the point dies, next person, next person. You might have definitely lost the point, but you can stall for like a solid minute, just get that time bank down. We'll see if so how many toaster? Done. Reverse sweep or no reverse sweep? It's definitely doable. I don't think. What do you think? They're not down and out, and I don't think it's going to be a three zero. But I think staffs are probably going to take it. However, I don't know. I, I'm calling staffs three zero. I want to see Sussex in these fifty fifty fights. They are coming. They're not coming out on top. So I expect Savage are the closest game out. So Sussex, they really need to step up in this Hanamura game. This is another one of their picks. So. I really hope they've prepared some sort of strategy going into this game. Yeah, I think they will have, and I think 2CP again, as we said, not Staff's greatest thing. Odyssey are going to find Ufarella, but not get the damage or the hack onto him. Just going to drop down to the low ground, go back Pulse, to his great team. awareness there. Instant armor pack comes out onto Zenyatta. Good play from him, and... Uh, oh, nice anti-nade onto Zephyr. is going to have to get the shield onto him to keep himself alive there. He's going to charge through, though. He's going to catch Jezzy. That's going to be the uh, armor pack and the healing down for the team of... Sussex, so they're probably just going to want to back up. They can, they, they have the time to wait just until. Zephyr loves time. these aggressive charges. If I'm Sussex, I try and capitalize on it a bit more. I think Zephyr plays in really aggressive positions, charge into backline very often, so they need to try and focus him down here. The boost coming out quite early. The shatter, the boot up, and the shatter return. Shatter back onto Zephyr slow, and the nade going to come onto him to finish them off. The grab's going to have to be there just to try hold them where they are. But the sound barrier is there, really nicely done from Sussex to stay alive through that. And the reverse sound barrier onto Stas. Jell is going to get caught into it as well. He's dropping very low the purples onto him, and this is going to be first point. Very nicely taken. Staffordshire, they tried to set up the boop shatter play there, but um, Slizzard, he was really aware of it. He positioned himself in a way to block the shatter and instantly comes out with the return shatter. If you're going for that play, you need to keep an eye on the enemy Reinhardt. If you boop him away to get the shatter, the Reinhardt's going to be in your back line. Yeah. You've got to watch for him. I think Pulse needed to be Zephyrus. there to try and stun him. Yeah, really nicely played there. Very well capitalized on the slight mistake made by Yeet. So. Really what we wanted to see from them, really taking advantage of the kind of stuff that you were looking to do. Zephyr's going over to the Winston now, just trying to find something, waiting at the side. He's going to get spotted out, so he's going to have to J7's down. hiding here with the sound barrier, aware of Odyssey, nearing that EMP. I think that's what Sussex are waiting for before they go on to point. They're waiting for Odyssey to get his EMP. That's the go signal. They know he has it up. They'll be pushing forward, waiting for him to get into position. Odyssey going down through a main, just trying to find something. The rally's going to come out from Pulse, just giving them that armor, and they're actually going to start going aggressively. The bomb coming out from every, just pushing them all back, and this is not a position that it's this very is easy disaster to survive. For Stavs, so they down. just committed two ults for nothing. Sussex now with the EMP. In. It's only onto a few. J7 was still hiding, so he's going to be able to get the sound barrier up. He's actually going to get stunned away from it, so jealous. And J7 now down with the anti nade onto them. The grab's going to come forward, though, but there's no support ults just yet to save them. King going to drop very low, get that amp up, going for 
the healing and he's going to get the bubble onto him to survive and they're dropping very they quickly They need to kill now. Jealous though if they want to win. Nice pin from Slizzard finds him and I don't think Staffs can come back from this. This was a really good EMP engage from Sussex. Ufarel are trying to keep his team alive but the grab should finish this. Three members into that Graviton. Sussex swinging away. Get all of Staffordshire. The, the remaining members just straggling onto point. Trying to get a few more seconds. Yeah, the hack onto J7, just stopping that Lucio really being an effective stalling method. And now the Eevee gonna get charged up and taken down the monkey. He's back low. They're stalling quite well, but there's five members of the Sussex team onto the point. So nice the respawns are getting very low. The shatter and the hack onto that ulting monkey is gonna be really, really nicely done. The charge. Is it gonna get it onto pulse? It's just gonna stop that punch, stun him up, would be enough to take him down. Tracer back onto the point, just trying to stall Jealous, doing everything he can. The second tick's going to come through, though. The hack again onto every just person is just getting absolutely bullied. Slizzard just charging forward Flux into all of these grab people, here. doing so much work onto these EMP as and these hacks. The grab going to come out onto Zephyrus, onto that Winston, just stopping him doing too much. And they're going to get the point with so much time left. Really, really well played by Sussex. I mean, first of all, I want to give props to Slizzard. He's been making a lot of correct decisions there. The Shatter onto Winston to prevent the stall, getting some good pins onto Pulse, uh, onto Jealous there as well. Uh, but that second point came down to Staff's overcommitting. They were aware of the EMP, and they tried to initiate and force the fight whenever they wanted to fight. However, Sussex just backed out. Staffordshire not all on the same page. They had the Lucio hiding, so they didn't have the speed boost to combo with that Diva Bomb. They couldn't get onto Sussex, and they just wasted two ults. Sussex instantly re-engage with the EMP and take the fight. Yeah, just very, very well played throughout this for them. Very patiently played as well. Just building up what they needed going forward and getting the point with 4 minutes 10 left. A really, really nice time. Interesting to see what potential comps they'll have, whether, st whether Sussex runs something different on defense. We see the McCree coming out instead of the Diva, so they're expecting the Thara. Maybe stream sniping here at LAN? Uh, they have admins, it's fine. And I, I, I just think it's smart. They've been playing Farah a lot throughout this map, so picking a hit scan, very smart. Wasn't Jealous known as a Farah one trick? Uh, Why Jealous is, is an excellent Farah, but I think he's also an excellent hit. He's just an excellent player. Very strong in their hit scan, so. Yes, washed up Farah. <laughs> Can't play projectile, go to hit scan instead. It's the natural progression. I hear that Eevee is a top six UK Farah. I mean, Jealous is only a top 12 Farah, but, you know, Eevee is top 6. I mean, that's twice as good, really. That is twice as good. Uh, I do like the McCree comp, actually. Because you're... I think McCree does a more damage than D.Va, and you still have the Zarya. And they have a lot of lockdown for this uh, Wrecking Ball as well when it comes in. You have the Shield Bash, you have the Flashbang. It might be enough to just kind of take him down as soon as he goes for a dive. So you're back. Pulse going to get the scouting going. He's on point. Might just... Uncloaked to start trying to force them into it. Jealous sure they saw the comp, but they're well. still electing to run this. They think that they have the advantage against Sussex. Sussex playing it safe, having most of the members hide Hack's in the building. On. Hack is out onto Slizzard. That's really, really nicely done by Pulse. Just pushing him back with no shield. Oh, this is going to take out Zephyrus, like I said, with that lockdown and the high damage. But they're just kind of getting dismantled here. Zephyrus just going around. He does get rezzed up, so he's back, causing that disruption. Jealous doing so much work on this Tracer. We see now why they put him on this instead of the Pharah coming back forward. Going for Shushu. Going to get the melee Eevee. Going to finish that off. It's just the Lucio left on point. Yeah, trades favor Staffordshire in this scenario. They do run the Mercy. So when they trade out both main tanks, J7 just comes in, reses Zephyrus back, back up. And that's a 600 HP uh, Hammond with 500 shields. Really hard for Sussex to take control. But Odyssey, smart move onto the Sombra. Try and lock down Zephyrus a bit more, but Zephyrus responds. Switching onto the Winston. So a dive composition. I think Staffordshire are going to try and snowball this fight with Pulse's EMP. Yeah, just needs to get a few more percent. He's going to walk into Shushu. Shushu. King no, nowhere near everything? to the sound barrier. This could be really bad for Sussex. They don't really have any way to win this next fight, whereas Staffordshire, they're coming close to four ultimates here. Yeah, Zephyr's just waiting patiently, like we saw Sussex do, waiting for Pulse to build up that bomb, that um, EMP, sorry. Just poke coming from Evie, just trying to displace some people if they can. The jump low coming in, trying to be proactive here from the side of Sussex. Lizard jumping in, getting straight Pulse back out. The EMP. Big out EMP with the barrage, barrage as well, Jesse going to drop, but uh, going to get the better of Evie as well. Just trading one for one there, but the res is out, and the Pulse bomb going to go onto the Anna, so stopping any of that big healing coming from them. And this is a really, really nice start from Staffs. Just pushing onto the point, taking a lot of them down. 
Now we've got three on. Second tip going to be on, coming up very quickly. Widow comes out just trying to find the pick. Are they going to be able to get a stool? Yes, they are. Just one on there contesting now. Two. Jealous pushing up to the spawn door. Trying to get something done. Trying to get a pick. Shushu going to come in on the Moira. But going to get taken down very quickly. The Hammond also going to get hacked up. So not going to be able to do any of those Hammond things that are so good at stalling. Evie dropping very low. Going to have to get back up into the sky as the purple comes out onto the mech. Going to get dropped down and a hack. Also onto King on that Lucio. Basically not a hero when they get hacked. And they're getting so close up to the point. And they're going to cap it with a minute more. I mean, that's what you call a snowball, really. We saw a Sussex snowball, but Staffs, that was a real snowball right there. That was That's not some two-inch snow. That's like 10-inch <laughs> blizzard level. You're out there. You're making an igloo, making a massive snowball, and then your neighbors come over, knock it out. You file a cease and desist. You know, that's, that's a big snowball from Staffordshire. Uh, Sussex, they switched their comp from the GOATs. This is this is real two CP at this point though. I mean, Both teams. they switched, so they had no, they had no ultimates, they had no defense against staffs. They needed to keep anything that was close to an ult there. Yeah, just both teams taking it very quickly. It is classic two CP. Going to be seeing at least two more rounds, and with these times and how quickly they've been taking the point, I would not be surprised if this went to rounds five and six as well. You can see Sussex are very scared of the Pharaoh as well from Staffordshire because Jesse to stall. He switched. He stayed on the Widow instead of switching onto a Doomfist or a Brig that's better stalled to try and shut down the Pharaoh. Yeah, yeah. They, I mean, they've been playing around the comps very well. They've just kind of been getting pushed back a little bit. That first point definitely was really pulse getting that hack. I think the composition that came out from Sussex was really smart, really clever. They just kind of didn't execute it quite as well as they they would have wanted to. Pulse finding the right target for his hack. Stavshire running the goats with Soldier. Do you call this goats for soldier or do you call it triple support? Um, probably just triple support. People people use goats for a lot like sombra goats, but it's just triple support with, with a sombra as well. It's just a term that everyone will start recognizing at this point as the push coming through very aggressively. Straight onto Zephyrus, they're going to get the stun up onto him and take him down. Very nicely done by Sussex there. The purple is out onto Jezulo. He's going to get away on such little HP. Really nice peel there from the Lucio. And now Evi, he's onto the, the Zarya for this and he's dropping very, very low. Just going to have to get saved up by Pulse as J7 also goes down. And this is looking like it's going to be a very quick, very decisive first take. They're going to have to try and stall up Evi back up to full HP with that bubble. Has quite a lot of charge, but it's going to get forced back really quickly. They're definitely going to go down the hack onto him as well. No bubbles for him. He's going to find one nade coming in. And they're doing so much work, they're keeping every life. They haven't even got a tick yet. Looks like they might be able to get one pretty quickly. The contest so coming from Evi. Really nicely and jealous. He's boosted up, he's doing so much damage, he's gonna come back in. So the Reinhardt is back as well, protecting his team. He has the sight, he's gonna take down one with it. Gonna get finished off by the fire strike. But they're gonna hold, they're gonna recontest. I mean that that started off so well for Sussex that a clear game plan you could see they just wanted to focus down Zephyrs. They identified Zephyrs as someone that plays a little bit too deep. For Staffordshire, they try to hack him, and they instantly just all ran at him, bursting him down. It's pretty much as good as it gets at the start, except they kind of put their foot off the gas. They need to all commit onto Eevee on this area, or onto the Ana, but they Grav comes out again, focusing onto Zephyrs, but the reverse Grav is there, just stopping them getting any damage into it, so neither Grav gonna find anything. So he gets booted forward, so he's actually not gonna get the benefit of that uh, sound barrier, so he's gonna have to get boosted up, get that damage lowered on him. Zephyrs gonna get stunned up, he's absolutely fine now. Just uh, gonna be pushed down, finished off by the high damage of that boost is uh, uh, Reinhardt, and that's Jealous just gets pushed all the way back near to second point, and I think they're gonna finally cap the point now. That's much better. Another clean engage coming out from Sussex. This time, however, they are able to follow up and get the remaining members of Staffordshire. Going into the next fight as well there. Uferella just trying to find something. It was really nice from uh, Shushu Baba on nice that Anna. Recognizing that their Reinhardt hadn't got the sound barrier, so was going to be taking a lot more damage, not have that boosted HP. Getting the boost onto them, not only getting that damage in uh, increase out, but also getting the damage onto the Reinhardt reduced Keeping him alive a lot easier, giving him that confidence to go for the aggression. The charge onto Zephyrus was really nice. The Shatter coming out as well, just taking that Reinhardt down. Very nicely played from Shusha Baba and Slizzard. Sussex, they're close to both the EMP and the Graviton, whereas Staffordshire, they only have J J7 sound barrier. <coughs> I expect to see them use maybe a Graviton to engage the fight, and then as soon as the sound barrier comes out, an EMP to cancel it. That should be Sussex's game plan to win oh, this. However, really nice Pulse overextends. So he here. down to contest the point, the purple out onto the mech and the EMP is there as well. Not enough to get all of them, so the boosted 
Visor is going to come, doing a lot of damage. Is it going to be able to pick up any kills? Just getting down, but King going to be too far in front Sussex, of that Sussex, they so messed up their combo. Down. They EMP'd first. They need to grab. Sandbarry instantly comes out to deny that EMP. And Staffordshire, they might be able to hold this despite the nano boosted Reinhardt. The swinging in Evie, going to go down, hack onto the Reinhardt. So all he can do is swing, going onto Zephyrs, but he's going to be healed up, kept alive. It looks like this is going to be a hold. They get a tick, though. The tick is pretty good, but in Sussex, they, they should have had it. They had the 6v5, they had the grab, they had the EMP just impatient there from Odyssey. He sh needed to wait for Flux to initiate with the Graviton, but the EMPs, J7 aware of that, beats. And then they grab just really far away from the team with no follow-up. Nanovisor just pressuring them out of the fight. And staffs held when they had no right to, really. Yeah, the MP not quite catching the Anna. All these soldiers 76 would have been very nice to get them going. But again, Sussex are though. being a lot more decisive and a lot more aggressive here. I don't think this is over for them any way, shape, or form. Pulse does have the MP, so he's going to be looking to shut down this last push. They the initiate with the starts, that's really smart. Getting the that EMP straight away to cancel it. Slizzard though, gonna take out Evie's mech before he's dropping very low. He's just getting bullied out by the other Winston who is primal raised up. He's gonna get healed very nicely. Flux gonna push a bit too far towards the spawn. Gonna get taken down and Jealous recognizing there's no D Matrix now. He's just gonna use that ult to start getting so much damage. I'm gonna get free. Uthred is gonna drop, but they're just dropping too quickly. It's down to Jezzy now. The last one there with only 9 seconds left. They're not gonna get it, but they got really far. 88%. Definitely holdable, definitely still winnable. This is a good map from Sussex though. Despite a few mistakes, they're being very aggressive. They're finding members of staffs out of position. They're engaging really quickly and... This is overtime and they almost cap second point, so... They're still in a really good position to hold this. Staffs, they need to full cap second in order to win. So we, we yeah. still got a game on our hands. Yeah, definitely, and I think... That was definitely some very nice stuff coming out from Sussex there. Initiating with the sound barrier, recognizing that that EMP was going to be there. Didn't want to make that Lucio kind of pointless in that fight. If it does get hacked up, very little a Lucio can do. Can't wall ride, can't crossfade, can't app up. Their aura is even cancelled. So initiating with that sound barrier, very smart. I want to see Sussex full commit to either a first point hold or a second point hold. Last time their strategy was kind of split between first and second. And they paid the price because they had to switch onto second point. Whereas here... Maybe just pick a comp that's good on second, build up your ults on first, and then just be in a good position to rotate your ults, cycle them out for second point, try and hold Staffordshire there. Here I think they I think they've committed Going again, Fuller McCree, which is nice, as we said in that first round against the comp from Staffordshire. Seems to do a bit slight maybe execute a slightly differently. Slizzard going on to the Winston, however, instead of the Reinhardt, the big issue with their first defense in the last round was that Reinhardt just getting hacked up, not being able to protect his team, so maybe the Winston with that bit more range on his damage and a bit more consistency onto the Sombra, going to try and stop himself getting hacked and stop the same thing happen. I mean, the issue with Sussex, Sussex's comp here is uh, it's quite weak into GOAT, so if Staffordshire recognizes this, they could switch and take this first point. Not really much dive capability on this first point, not much height, not much... Uh, space to go in. Sussex, uh, Staffordshire though, they, uh, they seem confident. They're staying on this composition. Worked well for them last round. The hack this time coming onto Flux, as is the anti-natal. That mech is just going to go straight down. Nice little dive coming in from Jealous to finish that off. Going onto the King on this high ground on the end of the boot. Not going to get him down onto the low ground. So going to be safe away from the rest of the staffs for a little bit. Jealous, he's in the background though. He's looking for you for other. Not going to find him, going to get the armor pack onto him, so he's going to be fine. Slizzard dropping very low, but the nade is there. Not going to be enough to save him as the headshots from the Hammond come out. Jealous going to blink forward, get on to the Baby Diva, finish him off the bomb. Going to get a little bit of damage onto the Zenyatta. Shot's going to be enough to kill them, and it's going to be a very first, a very quick first point zip once again. I mean, Flux, he needs to be more aware of this Sombra. I think he used all of his defense matrix to try and cancel out the spam rockets from Eevee, and then just gets hacked. Can't really do anything, need to play a little bit more around corners. Zephyrus is straight on, but he's going to get stunned up, taken down. The follow-up from Jealous is there to finish off the Zenyatta, but he also stunned. There's so much lockdown from these two heroes on Sussex's side, and I think it's probably just going to be enough to force Staffs back away from this point. Maybe start stabilizing on second here. Staffs going a bit too deep there, getting ahead of themselves. Good play from Sussex to stop them in their yeah. tracks. And stopping that snowball is really, really important. Can give them a bit more time to set up how they want, where they want. And when more pushes come in, they'll be more prepared and more ready. So that is really good. Pulse is close to another EMP. 
Uh, we're probably expecting to see what they did last time, which is EMP into Barrage, this time with a Nano though, to try and keep Eevee alive. On the hack again, on the flood, so they can't even D-Matrix any of that barrage if it does come up. Really nicely played by the Pulse on the Sombra here, and the EMP comes, it's onto three, and the Shushu Barber's caught in that down to just the shield. going to get finished off. The boost did come on to the Winston in time, so he's going to survive through into his monkey ult. Going to be enough to keep him alive through the barrage as well. The bomb coming forward isn't going to pick anybody up, but they're going to start moving on to the point. Good score from Sussex, he's there, he's going to get rest. To try and buy them time. A shoe comes back in with a transcendence, keep every member alive. Odyssey unable to find anyone. Jealousy's hiding behind that pillar, but it does force staffs back. And I think Sussex, they've managed to recuperate their entire team. Janus dropping so low, really nice head from, from Odyssey, gonna finish them off as he tries to escape down the low ground. Flux gonna go on to every not hacked up this time, gonna finish it off. And again, looks like Sussex are gonna have a really nice hold, very well played to come back onto this and not even give up any kind of tick. It's a really nice engage from Staffordshire there because they. Instantly EMP'd into a Pharah Rocket from EV to find Shu, denying any transcendence healing from Sussex. However, uh, Slizzard, he just managed to get his uh, Primal up right after the EMP expired. He was able to stall for just long enough for Flux to get his Diva Bomb, and then that stalled for longer. And then Shu comes back with a transcendence, so they just alternated ults to stall the point. Good play there from Sussex. There he is, and Pulse, he's just there waiting for a hack opportunity. He sees three of them. It's giving so much intel to his team right now of who is there. They're going to start pushing onto Jealous, though. Going to have they to run to the other side. The purple's yeah. onto him, and that's going to be enough to kill him. So that's a really nice start for this defense of Zephyrus. He's on point, and he is primal rage, but the rest of his team are just dying. This monkey oh, isn't going to be enough to do anything. He's just going to have to use it to retreat. As Uferella and J7, both of his supports, die in the background. Odyssey. Is he going to find the baby <laughs> diva? There we go. He gets him. Now he you're gets staggering, him. right? He's just purposely missing. Yeah. So he's staggering. Just staggering. Yeah. But this is good play from Sussex, they are denying any high ground from Staffordshire. Anytime Jealous tries to come up top, they dive in him, they pressure him out with the McCree. Don't give him any opportunity to use this nanovisor. Yeah, this hold is really strong for them right now. They're playing it incredibly well, but the EMP Shoo, he needs to be aware. Last time he got caught out by this EMP, he can't let the same thing happen oh, again. They're searching for the Sombra with this flail, they know that he's going to be looking for it. Pulse, though, he sees this. He's going to stay away to sleep onto Slizzard. They're just going to leave him asleep for a little bit, start getting some shots. Out the EMP comes. It's on to four. Shushu Barba is going to drop immediately from that as well. Really nicely done from Pulse. This might be what they were looking for. But Zephyrus, he's going to drop. Slizzard was ready with his ult. Didn't get EMP, so he's going to use it. Only one going to get caught by Jealous as well. And Evie's going to drop. So they might actually be able to recover from this. The stun and the flashbang. The flashbang and the Afan. The hammer sorry, comes out onto the Mercy. Not going to be enough to finish him off. But the Transcendence is there, keeping all of the team so healthy as they push forward. But the purple nade was out onto Odyssey. So it's not going to be enough to keep him alive, he's gonna go down. Jealous, he's free firing from the low ground here. No one can deal with him right now with the Diva being down. However, Sussex, they're still holding on to this point. They have the tanks, they have a lot of healing. Anna there, out of position in the corner, Pulse as well, but gets to translocate. Sussex, I think they're bringing this fight back. Jealous here, Zephyrus running away, they're trying to hide from Sussex. Attack Vice is there again though, he's going to have to try and find something with this time going down onto the Tracer, but the recall is there, going to keep herself alive. Flux getting to Uferello on the back end as well, but there's Odyssey going to run out of mobility, going to get taken down, they're going to get them just before they can be mech that's really unfortunate, Shushu getting one on the he response though. also gets D-Mech and Zephyr's falling down, both front lines missing, I think this might favour Sussex if they can get yeah, back. with the team no. kill. It's probably going to be it. The Odyssey does manage to get in though, just getting a bit more time for the rest of his team. And now the monkey's back. He has Primal Rage, going to get hacked up, but he has so much HP, he might just be able to stall out a bit. Zephyrus goes down. The boost is out onto Jealous, who's going to be doing so much damage, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Odyssey, he's going to drop as his knee mech from Flux. The Seep comes out onto Shushu, who's gone onto that Moira, just a better stall here. Jealous is dropping really low. The yellow's onto him though, so he's going to get a lot more healing, get back up to full health. Evie has that bomb, so he's going to get back into his mech at full health. They're going down. Flux, he dies with that baby diva that's still contesting here. Shushu just staying alive and Slizzard's gonna get rid of Pulse. Another attack vices up for Jealous. Is he gonna be able to find anyone with this one? Slizzard drops to Evie who did get that mech back. And Jealous, he's gonna find two with the attack visor, but King finds him at the end of it, just taking him down, doing as much as he can to stall. He does get knocked down to the low ground, but he is a Lucio, so he's gonna get back up very quickly. Odyssey doing so much to stall right now, dropping very low, low and Evie gonna get the best of him. But the diva's back. Has that full mech dropping very low, the boost out once again. I believe that was onto the D.Va, just keeping Pulse that mech back nice and healthy. The <gasps> they almost got off and there's a huge bomb from Flux taking down two, but the Doomfist is here taking down Shushu. Going onto the Soldier 76 as well, just trying to do something. Zephyrus finds one. Uferella also getting on this fight. It just doesn't stop the, the stall. They oh did it! Oh my god! <laughs> Sussex. Sussex! 
What was that fight? I don't know. What a stall from Sussex. Absolutely amazing play coming out. I'm so... I, I, I was bomb. just watching you speak there. I had no clue what was going in that fight. Sussex, insane plays. How did they stall for that long? The trust in their team to just coordinate between one person stall and the other person diving in. Just one after another. So many stalls came out. Shusha Baba came out back on that Moira. It was absolutely huge. She stayed alive for so long. And the um, healing from the Moira was doing absolutely amazing work. The Monkey Elk coming in very quickly at the start of the stall was huge. That was amazing stalling from Star 6. Just so good. I mean... I said it was going to be a 3 0 from Staff, so I didn't expect Sussex to yeah. bounce back. I'm not saying I said they were going to take Hanyamura, but I did say they were going to take Hanyamura. I mean, yeah. 2 CP. <laughs> yeah. Not the best for Staffordshire. No, and just Sussex really showing their strength there, just stalling so amazingly well. If you're Staffs, though, you might be slightly tilted going into the next round. You had, what, four minutes to cap that second point? Just not able to do so. So many alt rotations, but Sussex just. Odyssey touched the point with about a millisecond left yeah. on the timer. Got it just in time for uh, just in time for the Winston to come back with the ult as well. It Wait. did get hacked up, but it didn't really matter just because he had all of that HP. So uh, looks like the Sus team just going to take a quick break. I just saw them leave. I was like, <laughs> "Is this a 3-0? Did we did we see something else?" Yeah, that was just a really really strong hold. Why are they? Wait, why are they? I think they're staying in the quick break. That was a long. All right, game. all right. I thought I thought Staffs won, and I'm just here talking about no, no, Sussex no. taking him up. All right. So yeah. uh, all of the players have left the room in order to kind of calm down after that map. So we're going to go into Escort, and it's going to be Staffordshire's map pick. Is this the first time we see a Staffs map pick? Who got um, the first Busan? That was Staffs, wasn't it? Yeah, I believe it was Staffs. Yeah. I'm <laughs> reading Twitch chat right now. It's just a mistake to do, really, isn't it? But yeah, I think I want to definitely point out as well, Flux there with the bomb taken out too was very instrumental in that. The big thing about bomb to note as well is not just that it got two, but it means that they get their mech back, they have the full HP, which is really important for the stall. The D.Va, very tanky here. I mean, <laughs> that was just a crazy fight. We saw tanks falling on both sides, coming back into the fight. Pulse had time to come back onto the Doomfist with a flank, gets a kill, I... I thought Staffs would have had it about five times in that one fight, but Sussex just able to get back onto the point at the last second every time. Yeah, and I again really want to just point out how well Shusha Baba did going onto that Moira. Stayed alive for a long time, got taken down by the Doomfist just with that punch, but kept people alive really, really well, and she was just alive for most of that last battle on the point, just being a nuisance with the heals, with the damage. I think Jealous as well had like three visors in that yeah. last fight. Just crazy. I mean, Sussex... I'm not sure if it was Sussex being able to hide around corners that well, or just the rest of Staffordshire not being able to capitalize on these visors and pressuring down Sussex. Yeah, just uh, just an excellent hole coming out, and I, I expect if it is Staff's map pick that we might be going towards King Ro King's Row. I know that they love that map, and it is very very goatsy, which they're a big fan of playing as we've seen, and they are very strong on. I mean, we have seen Sussex kind of opt out of goats whenever they can. So, Goat's not something they favor. I think on first point King's Row, though, you can afford to run something different. If you're smart with your rotations, we've seen some Bunker Comms come out. We've seen some Winston Goats as well. If they can utilize the high ground, rotate correctly, they may be able to hold stuffs without running Goats, but still, Goat's definitely favored. So yeah, as the players take a break, we're also just going to throw it to a quick one. We'll be back here with Game 4 very shortly, so do not go anywhere.
out to get things clear now To get rid of my doubts To get rid of my fears I just need some time now to get things And we're back in these best of five between Sussex Solstice and Staffordshire's Yeet. As we just saw a crazy game from Sussex, trying to stay alive in this best of five, managing to hold Staffordshire in a two-minute overtime. Yeah, that was a wild overtime hold on Hanimura. And the next map should be hybrid. I think it Gonna will be Blizzard, Blizzard World. World. Yeah. As we just hear. So Staffordshire not electing to pick King's Row. I'm not sure if it was available for them to choose from, but quite interesting. I think Blizzard World really favors their sort of triple DPS style. There's a lot of high ground for yeah. the soldier. Farrah can fly around. Yeah, and especially as we go on to that second point around the StarCraft turret, there's just a lot of sight lines that a Widow and a Farrah can use as cover, so very interesting to see what they bring out on that. And the first point as well, it's very difficult to kind of break through onto it if you're just kind of going around the side getting people up and over the top is definitely the easiest way but i am surprised because sussex have looked best when they're running this dive so choosing a map that favors some sort of dive competition or can run dive i mean goats you can obviously run on blizzard world but dive is also very strong choosing that sort of map when sussex they haven't shown to be stronger goats is a bit questionable yeah and just that last map, definitely, the way in which it was won out by Sussex was such a strong fight at the end. De definitely is the kind of map win that has the potential to be to be a, a momentum swinger. You know, the mentality is going to be different from both of these teams now. We see the players there on the stream just discussing strats, you know, maybe memeing a bit. What's, what are they feeling? Did you look at the players as they came out? Yeah, I mean, the Sussex looked absolutely thrilled, obviously, that last fight. Winning a fight like that just gives you so much momentum going forward. It gives you so much kind of drive to carry on winning. Because you, you know, if we can do that, we can carry on. We can go further. So I think staffs they're going to have to maybe readjust a little bit. Just look to be focusing targets a bit better and going for the uh, going for a, just just finishing fights a bit a bit uh, more consistently. So we've seen almost mirror comps here from both Sussex and Staffordshire with running the Sombra Goats. However. Sussex on this Moira instead of the Zenyatta will be quite helpful actually in these normal fights with the Moira because they've elected to switch out the Sombra for the Brigitte so they need the Moira in order to sustain Staffordshire on the other hand switch out the Diva for the Sombra I think I definitely prefer Sombra for Diva and rather than Brigitte because yeah. otherwise you're lacking healing and Sussex they only have the sound barrier for both the grab and the EMP and as we saw in that last game, though, Shushibaba, she's very strong on that Moira. Survives very well for herself, get, gets out a lot of healing, so... I'm excited to see what she can bring to the roster in this map. For me, though, Staffordshire, I think they do have the superior comp going into this, purely because of their survivability with the three supports. Yeah, it all comes down to if Jesse can get big hacks and big EMPs. Zephyrs is going to open up with a fire strike kill onto Jesse. Definitely not what Sussex would have wanted. I think the answer Trying to, to that get onto question Slizzard. is he can't. So it's dropping to about half HP. They're going to be low on healing and he's going to get finished off Eevee. Just pushing straight into him and now they're taking a commanding position. Holding this point. Pushing the rest of the team back. Odyssey just trying to get out. Save some of that charge that he'd built up. Gonna get a bubble onto Shushu. Trying to get her away. The hack comes out onto Jealous. He's going to be able to get back into this room. Get the full health kit. The point's going to get flipped very quick. I mean, the slow fights do favor Staffordshire, I want to say. Sussex, if they're running this Moira, they need to be more aggressive and try and, try and snowball the fights, you know, build coalescence quickly oh, and just engage onto Staffordshire. As soon as you see Jesse go down, you need to hard commit because you don't want to try and give Staffs a slow Flux fight in a 5v6. They will just win. And there we go. Finally, the stagger ends. That was brutal. I want to see Sussex play more aggressive this time around. We have seen when they take the initiative, they look much stronger. 
Yeah, just gonna have to wait for their Diva to get back. We'll stack it out really quickly there. The Coalescence comes, but the EMP is right there to cancel it very, very quickly. It hits onto everyone. Another aggression just begins. This fight is definitely gonna go Staff's way. Really nice EMP coming out from Pulse. So really nice ult rotation from Staffordshire. They use the EMP next fight. They're gonna use the grab. King nowhere uh, near to his sand barrier. Yeah. Some interesting tactical crouching there. That's just having a bit of fun. See, so yeah, I flat start once again. Gonna drop kind of to the late of this fight, and they're pushing it very close to the point B. I mean, Flux is the only hope for Sussex in this fight. He literally has to get a big Diva Bomb. Otherwise, I don't see Sussex holding on oh, with the, the charge comes forward, and Zephyr's uses an opportunity to get a Shatter, but there's no follow-up onto it, and Slizzard, he's going to drop as the best of his team are a little bit isolated at the back. The grab comes out, so King, he's going to drop in that Odyssey, dropping very low as well. Going to have to use the personal bubble, but it's not going to be enough to save him. They're going to push through onto point B. I mean, great all rotation from Staffordshire, using exactly what they need to. EMP into grab, going to have another EMP soon. King. Honestly, King needs to be doing a lot more damage and healing. He's not even on his first down barrier yet. And we've had three fights. If you're running him as your solo defensible, Shu now on the Zen will provide some supporting cover. King needs to be a lot better with his ult charge. That was unfortunate there. Slizzard just getting that back spawn, uh, forward spawn, sorry. So, gonna have to try and get out, but the hack is there onto him. So, look at Pulse and Jealous. Jealous almost has another Graviton, and Pulse has the EMP. I expect Staffs to hard commit as soon as this Here EMP comes out right now. Shushababa isn't going to get taken down by actually the headshots come out from the Diva and the healing onto Shushababa going to keep him alive. He, he paralyzed, so Slizzard going to push forward as well onto Zephyrus and this might be the fight that finally that Sussex need to start stabilizing in this map. So it was a good EMP, right? But Staff still had people pushing the payload. I think that Pulse, he saw the six man, he was like, oh my god, here's my chance. I need to make it on Reddit, I need to get the six man EMP. But his team just not close enough to provide as much support as he needed. He needed to wait for Sussex to get a little bit closer before he impede. Yeah, and really nice just the entire team of Sussex immediately making sure that Shushababa didn't die. Sussex needs to really be careful nice though. Jealous, that. if he grabs him, they might be able to C9 off this point. He's looking for this grab. The grab's going to come out from Sussex first, however, the Transcendence is there to keep the entire team alive and the reverse grab comes. They, do, they also have the Transcendence, but the Shatter's also onto them, just getting them down. Zephyr's dropping very, very low, so the Sound Barrier's going to have to come out to keep him alive as the Shatter from Zephyr's doesn't actually find anything. So Stas Mal, they've used a lot of ults and they haven't managed to find anything. Just got a lot of out ults out in return from Sussex. Slizzard going to get bashed up and he's going to go down. The bomb coming out isn't going to get over the ball, so it's going to be easily shielded, but Evie actually goes down to it. Not ex what he would have wanted. They're still favor Stas, though, not with the right enough. trade. To keep him, Zephyr's getting booped around very quickly here. Zeph he's going to drop to the headshots from King. It looks like Staffs are just going to want to start retreating here. Come back. They do still have quite a bit of time. But the stabilization is is getting stronger from Sussex. I mean, that just came down to individual plays there in that fight. Shatters both missing. Grabs coming out from both teams. Same with the trans. Uh, I want to say the grab from, St from Staffs was a bit better. Because if... Uh, Zephyr saw that, he would have been able to pin someone, however didn't go for that, whereas the grab from Sussex was on the payload, so no chance from any follow-up. EMP out again, Pulse dropping very low in it, Glenn is just not the follow-up, Jealous low, he comes in after the EMP has already finished with that grab, gonna get sound barrier to counter it, and J7 is gonna fall to Slizzard's fire strikes, this is a nice start, except the fact that Flux, he's fallen, his mech is gone, but the graviton surge and the shatters there on the other side, just gonna clean up, really nicely done. Kinky just got his beat in time, he got his beat healing the Zarya in grab, had he not got that, would have been a completely different story with Staff slightly coming out on top, but the beat keeps all of his team members topped up. Ufarella uses the trance a bit too early, Odyssey sees it as an opportunity and grabs just at the end of it. Great play from Sussex, they, they're holding on quite strong, despite really weak first two points. Yeah, this last point is they've woken up. They're really, really showing their strength here, playing incredibly well. And now the Transcendence is online for Shushu, so she's ready to counter any aggression that might be coming from Staffs with only two minutes left. They've burnt a lot of time off of this time bank. Zealous, Zephyr's his shield's getting low. He needs to watch out Slizzard. He's getting close to that Earth Shadow. And is going to find J7, so they have no Lucio going into this fight. Definitely not the one to, just not going to get the stun, the armor pack out onto King as he goes forward very aggressively and Evie's going to drop. They're just going, they're, this is what we wanted to see. They're taking the initiative, they're taking the aggression, and it's working. Much better from Sussex as well. They're holding you around the corners, utilizing that uh, as an advantage to charge up their shields. Uh, Zephyrus's shield control isn't as good as Lizard's. You saw there, it went down to 200 HP and he was forced to back away. 
That made J7 get caught out of position and allowed Sussex to win the fight. He needs to be a lot more careful with the shield and either play more aggressive or around cover. Maybe come around the left side where he has more cover. Yeah, getting very close to running out of time here. Cover bolts available for them, Sussex, but more on the side of Sussex and they're going to open up with the rally. Just dissuade any aggression and maybe start to get some of their own as Flux. Is he going to get the hack onto him? No, he's just going to get up and around the corner just Both in time. teams will have all of their ults up in this fight. We're going to see a Grab crazy fight. And the EMP, down. the Shatter coming forward as well, but both bombs coming towards them. The bomb's actually going to find every, so there's going to be all the rally not available for them. They managed to get it off and it got cancelled as soon as their Greg died. So now they're going to have to start backing up again. They did get a lot of ults out, but they used so many of their own. They're going to have to come back with Jealous' ult. King's going to be ready to counter it again, though. I mean, both teams use most of their ultimates, but this does favor Sussex because they're on defense. They don't need to push this payload. Slizzard, he does have a Shatter King. will have the Sound Barrier to try and block the damage from Jealous. I want to see staff try and pressure down the members of uh, Sussex, try and force an early beat if they can. But Sussex, they need to get some work out of Slizzard's Shatter. Maybe pressure Zephyr's Shield. It's getting dangerously low. If they can get it any lower than... Grab the, shatter. the Shatter's there to counter it, though, as is the Sound Barrier, so they're going to be winning this fight very, very easily. They take down three off the back of those ults. There's only 20 seconds left. This looks like they're going to be able to hold this point. Sussex have been playing so well on last year. They've suddenly woken up, and they've just come into a league of their own, just holding Staffordshire. Every going to get over the top, try and contest, but just going to get dropped before they can get in. Sussex really well played a in completely that last different point. team on this third point. It, it was not even on. close. He is, but the bomb is there. The overtime wick is ticking down. They are going to get more of a contest going, but it's just one by one here. Zeph is going to have to try and come on, but he's already half health Sussex before he even gets in. Here. Transcendence is there just to keep them alive. J7 is going to go down, though. Shatter doesn't really Honestly, get Honestly, though, he has this grab, and they've no, there's no Transcendence to defend from it. There's just no real way for Staffordshire to come back. And Yeah, they're on here and they're contesting, but it's just not a full team. They're not going to get a full team, and they're going to get cleaned up. I mean, amazing play from Sussex. They... It honestly looked like an Overwatch League team coming up against an open division team in that last point. Staffordshire just had no foothold in any fight. None at all. As soon as it got to that last little hill, Sussex were just all over them, dominating them entirely in every single fight. Even when staffs were coming in with more ults, Sussex were just finding the, the, the ults and the players they needed to win. So, I mean, Sussex, after the last game, they walked out. Do you reckon they snuck in a smurf? You know, maybe a couple of legal players coming in to play for their team. I think just because their aim seemed a lot better on that round. I think just that big hold that they got at the end of Hanyamura really was what they needed to kind of push them further, get the the uh, momentum going in their way. All they need to do here is push it up that hill, and they'll be taking us to a map five. I love Twitch chat as well. Anytime we praise staffs, it's oh my god, these guys just love staffs. Anytime it's Sussex, it's you guys just love Sussex too much. But that's the thing. You it's been a very back and forth game. You gotta favor whoever's winning, right? So both teams have a lot of things to praise here. Even when they're losing, they're playing very well. Looking here, both teams decided to get rid of the Sombra and just go back to the classic goats. This is what we this is what we all came here to see, right? Give me some goats v goats matchup. Everyone loves some goats. I mean we don't see enough goats in Overwatch League, so I'm glad we could come here and see some good quality goats. This should favor Staffordshire in theory. However, with how that last point went, I want to see that momentum is in favor of Sussex. So if they can take this first point quickly, I expect a snowball from Sussex. However, if Staffordshire get a foothold on this first point, it will be really difficult for Sussex to take as their morale should break, break down slightly. Look at this, those staffs. A very close hold, just trying to get something. Is the charge going to come through from Staffordshire? He's going to get the bubble going, swinging very aggressively. If, if they can get a pick here on Sussex, though, it's going to be absolutely huge for them. They're going to have to start backing up on the steps, heading towards the point. They didn't manage to get anything there. Slizzard just protecting his team as he got around the corner. So they're going to have to back up. and might be on the back foot as the aggression can come into them just as they start to set up on the point. Coming around the other side, going into the Odyssey, dropping pretty low, but getting a lot of charge off of these bubbles and the fire strike coming through up to 100. He's going to be doing so much damage for Slizzard. He's going to get stunned up and taken down, and now it's time for Stas to just try to route this attack. You can see a difference there between Staff's defense and uh, as we see Zephyr's charging all the way into spawn to find two. Difference between Staff's defense and Sussex's defense was Sussex, they allowed Staff's to come in and just command the point, whereas Staff's they hold right around the bend. As soon as Sussex steps forwards, they just initiate on them, force them out. 
Really nice defense play so far. Yeah, they're going to go for the same here, thing here with a shatter ready, so if they don't come around the corner fully prepared for this. They've got to be aware of this though. They did it last time. They should be watching. Coming in again, the shatter is down. It gets onto a lot of them. They're all stunned, but Zephyrus, he's isolated in the team. He's not going to be able to get out. The stuns come onto him, and Jesse's going to finish him off. The transcendence there just to keep all of his team alive, and the reverse shatter comes out. Uvarel is going to drop into that, and this is exactly what they needed. Taking advantage of that close hold, got one pick, and just turned on the aggression straight into the rest of the team. Evie's going to get his mech back, but it's definitely not going to be enough. It'll get him out, maybe, but at this point is going the way of Sussex. Zephyrus again overextending. I'm not a fan. Like, I love flank shatters as much as the next guy. But if you go for that play right at the start, the other team is going to expect you to do it again. Maybe if he was around the other side and his whole team was there, that could have worked. But don't try and defend that close two times in a row and expect it to work. Staffs though, they want to swing back around with an early contest. This is really nice from him. Just buy him as much time, as many fights on the payload. The bomb coming forward with the grab isn't going to be able to pick anyone up, but in the grab, Slizzard is going to go down, so this aggression paying off currently. The transcendence is going to be popped just to keep them all alive as they do take this very early hold. Just going to finish off Slizzard and really perhaps nice around the other way though onto so many of them. They're going to come in with damage and the Diva Bomb. Is it going to be able to pick anybody up? No, it's not. Ufarella dropping pretty low around that corner to protect from the Diva Bomb. Is going to survive and get back out with the help of his team. Now, They've made themselves a little bit of space. The Shatter coming out, not onto anybody from Zephyrus. They can start pushing Staffs back Staff and the Staff used forward. a lot of ults just to buy him like an extra 10-15 seconds of time and it didn't pay out because Sussex, they had the close spawn. Now they're all grouped up, they can go. Odyssey probably could have waited with that grab T-bomb combo. He knew he had no trance, could have waited for Slizzard to come back and won this fight, but Slizzard, he has the Shatter. He's pressuring Zephyrus' shield, it's that really low. So low. It's always very good. It's a huge shatter onto five, just swinging into it. The charge onto Evie as well. Slizzard, so patient, knowing that shield was going down, gets exactly what he was looking for. What a play. Exactly what you want to see from Sussex. They know that Zephyrus, he likes to get really aggressive. He doesn't manage his shield that well, and they're just pressuring down his shield. Slizzard able oh, to try to catch the catches him. Zippin. That's going to be second capped, and they have four minutes to push this through and take us to a game five. I mean, Sussex, they have the momentum. They've just really improved over the set. Initially, they, they were looking strong. However, they weren't able to get these clutch fight victories. If this was game one, that fight in their spawn, we probably would have seen four or five members of Sussex die. But now, only one. Sussex have really picked up their momentum. Played much better as a team. Odyssey, he has this grab, waiting for Flux to get that Diva Bomb for the combo. Oh, it's just going to get eaten by, uh, uh, gets by Evie, and J7 going to boop him straight into the hole, just countering out that play very nicely for Odyssey. It's getting shut down, as is the rest of his team, but they still have a lot of time. However, they didn't use any defensive ults. They just allowed Staffordshire to get a clean fight win. That's really good composure from Sussex. Now they can engage with either the Transcendence or the Beat. Whereas Staffs, they only have the Diva Bomb Shatter. They're probably going to try and Diva Bomb and then Shatter as the Ryan's looking away. Take out J7. Is he going to get out? He does have the Discord order on him. Jazzy's actually going to go down on the other side. The Fire Strike connecting onto him. Slizzard so dropping very low. Going to have to start trying to back up the charge onto him. Going to stun him out. No shield. He's going to fall. Ufarella getting the damage onto that. And the rest of his team going to get back into spawn and protect themselves. This is looking slightly bad now for Sussex because Jealous, he's going to get another Graviton in this fight. And they will have a grab Diva Bomb combo. If that doesn't work, Zephyrus, he'll go for a Shatter. Odyssey only on 40%. He does get, with also with 0% charge, it's going to take him at least 30 seconds to get another Graviton. Yeah. S Staff's a lot of definitely ults. in a good position here. A lot of ults on both sides, though. Support ults ready, but Shushu Barber is going to get opened up on the Diva Bomb. Going to take him down to Zephyrus with the, the charge onto King. No real healing left available for Sussex. And again, they're just going to have to try and get back into spawn. Odyssey, you have to keep this charge. Sussex Staffordshire, they're just camping Sussex's spawn here. Sussex unable to do anything. Odyssey only got 20% all charge in that fight because he can't get any he can't get any uh, energy as he goes into these fights because they're so quick. Jealousy has this grab here, however, no combo available. Shu, he does have the trance. This could be an even fight for the first time in a while. Yeah, the Samo comes down. The, the shatter's huge Big again! Shatter this is getting a lot, but there's no follow-up onto it. But they got the, the trance. The shatter on the other way onto Slizzard, but the transcendence is there just to keep Slizzard alive as he was shattered. Now Jealous looking for a grab here. They got so much healing. He, the grab is there straight after the transcendence went down, so there's no healing into that. The bomb comes forward, though, getting Jealous. So there's 
a little bit of a Sussex response still into still it, now there's loose jealous, that's most the of their damage. Surge. Coming forward, taking out Uferan as well, they've got to get Zephyrs here and they can start pushing forward. Going to go onto him with the Discord on them, the melee comes out from the Diva, going to finish them off, and now they can really start getting this push going. Just trying to stall out a little bit, Evie going to drop J7, just trying to get out back over the wall to his team. Going to take out King actually with a boot down the hole. That was a clutch Diva bomb from Flux. The most important character on the Staffordshire team is Jealous. Without him, they're losing about 33% of their damage, and it's very hard for them to win the fight, even in, even when they're one man up, as they were there. They also forced the Shatter from Slizzard, forced both Transcendence and Sound Barrier, and that really upset Staffordshire's old economy. They still don't have any of their defensive ults up. Zephyr's looking for another Shatter here at Sussex. Just Sus they up a they don't bit. know this though. They could go in before any of the defensive ults come back from Staffordshire, but they're just letting them push up. This isn't what you want to see. Staffordshire, Staffordshire, they're just pushing forward. Zephyr's the Shatter comes out and it's huge with the bomb. They get free! And there's only a minute and 20 seconds left. That's absolutely huge from Staffordshire. Sussex, they just... Their W key must have broken at that moment. Do we need to pause or something? Because they just backed out. They let Staffordshire walk all over them when they had... The position they could have taken the fight. We've seen Sussex be playing very well, winning these fights when they've been taking the initiative, taking the aggression, but they just backed up. Let Staffs run at them and get exactly what they wanted a huge shatter bomb. Combo. They're not going to get a better opportunity than what they just had. Jealousy has another Graviton available. Staffs both their defensive ults online. Here Graviton gra finds four. Transcendence is there to counter it low. The bomb comes out from Flux, not finding anybody this time. Transcendence keeping them alive. Now the Graf is onto Zephyrus. The Transcendence is there. He was very low, but he's going to keep him alive. The damage comes in with the charge low, so he's going to fall as is Slizzard. Both teams losing their Reinhardt to this fight. Going very even right now. That's J7 dropping very low. Trying to wall ride just past the cart. Gals get the armor pack from the Brig, so he's going to be kept alive. This Pulse, he's just swinging on the point. Just trying to get as much damage and healing out as he can. The rally has come out from the other team, though. So Shushu Baba going to get the best of Uferella before getting taken down by Jealous. So there's both Zens down as well here. This fight is so even. The Shatter comes out. Really nice block from Scissor, but he's going to get taken down just in the middle of it all. With only five seconds left and no Reinhardt. This is looking really bad for Sussex. They need to start getting something here. Odyssey gets the armor pack being healed up a little bit. The bomb comes forward and Zephyrs. He's going to drop. Is this bomb? going to find anything. Yes, he's going to find two! If he find exactly what he needed. Odyssey and King going down. Flux, he's going to lose his mech here in the grab. Is on to the rest of them. Slizzard, he's on to the ham. Just trying to get some kind of stall going. Shusha Baba on this Moira as well. They have really good stall heroes, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. This might be the end of the Cinderella story from Sussex. They came so close, but ju just King hit a stall. Unfortunately, they'll fall so far from the point. A Staffordshire gets a second land final victory and it will be your champions today. Sussex were looking so good on that defense. The rest of their attack was really, really excellent as well. Just getting into that final point. Maybe the nerves got to them a little bit. Not sure what it is, but that last attack just didn't quite find what they needed. Same thing as last time. We saw a 3-1 victory for Staffordshire as they look really dominant Again, lost in the, the first CP. two games and then look shaky in the last one, but come out on top. I want to put it back down to this fight from Sussex where they just ran away for no reason. I want to know what happened in that fight, because had that gone differently, we might have seen a game five. Yeah, if they'd actually taken that fight, gone towards them instead, might have gone a lot differently. I think Sussex, were, they played really, really well. Ye are a formidable team, one definitely to be reckoned with. Quite scary to come up against, unbeaten throughout both seasons of NSE this term. So a strong team, and Sussex played very well up against them, really taking all of those games to the line. I mean, staffs, they showed the experience. None of the games were a stomp. They were quite close, but the staffs, they had the edge in pretty much every game. Hanamura as well, they almost won, so we almost yeah. saw a 3-0. So I guess staffs definitely deserve to win this game, but I would have liked to see a game 5 from Sussex. They came really close. The third point defend from Blizzard World, the first point defend that from Dorado. So strong. They, they seem to only pick one point on a map to defend well. They're like, okay guys, we only practice third <laughs> point Blizzard World and only first point Dorado. Everything else we don't practice. Yeah, that third... The, the, the kind of clutch defenses were so good on that Hany Mirror and here they had so much time to push Blizzard World staffs did and they managed to hold it out just at the bottom of that hill really nicely done but in the end their attacking rounds just not quite finding what they needed so congratulations to Yeet for once again taking the win at NSC yeah I mean who do you think was who were the standout performers there from both of the teams I think, I mean, every player played incredibly well. I really want to point out Shushu Baba on the side of uh, Sussex. She was playing incredibly well on those supports. Her Anna Ants were very well played, uh, very well placed, timed really well. And her Moira, really, really good. Just bringing it out exactly when they needed it, playing really well, surviving really well, and getting a lot of healing. 
I want to point out Zephyrus as well. Was playing well on that main tank. He's one that um, he's just kind of switched over to that role. And yeah, I mean you can see some of the shakiness there because he his shield control quite wasn't there, and he did overextend a few times on the Ryan and the Winston. His team had to save him, but overall, really impressive to just yeah. switch onto the main tank role and perform that well. Yeah, I think every player should be very proud of their performance. They've all played incredibly well. They were very it was a very close fought series. I mean, yeah, they're all coming out now. Uh, and that's pretty much the end from us over here. I'm not sure how we wrap this up. I think we have Dota coming up next. We do have Dota coming up next. You're going to be stuck with me again. Apologies, everybody. As I am going to be bringing you that. Unfortunately, I will not be because I prefer Smite. Smite's a better game to Dota. I, I got to put it out there. It's just because it's like Overwatch, right? You get to see it's Overwatch in third person, right? Have you ever tried playing Overwatch in third person? I haven't, and I never will. I mean, I think it's pretty good for your aim, right? You play in third person, you you see more around you, right? The pros, they play in third person just for that awareness, right? The Lucios, just so they can see all the fights around. I'm sure that's a thing. I don't think that's a thing. You get the Brig peaks though in third person. They're important. Oh, the Brig, yeah. I mean, you get Brig players that just turn off their monitors and hold left click yeah, as yeah. well. Just close your eyes, hold left click, swing and hope for the best. Not in this game, though. Both teams were aware. Anytime the, someone tried to dive their Zen, Instant armor pack came out. Yeah, both teams were really good at, like, we saw a lot of Sombra. Both teams were very, very good at keeping their Zens alive when they got hacked up. Uh, very quick on the response to those EMPs, getting some healing onto them with just some support. I definitely think the set got better as time went on. Like, the first rounds were close, but it, they normally swung in favor or just, they just had really messy fights. The last map, Blizzard World, had really clean fights. Both yeah. teams really picked up the pace. Their combos got a lot better there yeah. as well. Both teams bringing out some big grab and shatter bomb combos. We didn't see too many grab bomb no. combos. I mean, we though. saw them attempted, but both teams also very did, did a very good job at mitigating that big damage. Right, well, that's pretty much it from us here. Thank you for joining us here. And again, congratulations to Staffs for winning their second NSC final. Um, thanks, Omnitoaster, for joining me here. Thank you for cast. requesting me as your co-caster. <laughs> second choice, but, you know. <laughs> second choice. It's fine. All right, and... Uh, that's it from us, so enjoy the Dota game yeah. if you're watching.